last year, at the end of the year, I did a full playthrough of the Talos Principle 2 while I was still streaming, and I never did post any videos, cl compilations, clips, or anything. So here is my entire full playthrough of Talos Principle 2 in one video. You better subscribe because I took almost three weeks to edit this down from all 12 streams, 20 hours of footage down to whatever the time code says. <laughs> it's like less than 12 hours. I cut out all the extra running, all the inability to solve a puzzle. I cut all the bad parts out, stuff that would make it boring. And then, you know, turned it into, you know, a, a mostly cohesive experience. So subscribe, like this video. And if at some point in this long ass video, you don't like it, just unsub onto the video. Surprise, you're a robot. <laughs> Hopefully this runs okay. It's a little bit loud. In Behold, my ears. child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend. Thank and you. I am called Elohim. We met Elohim last game. He is not our friend. We already know all these puzzles. This is all... This is all done in the previous one. Did I see something out there? I can't crouch. It, oh, that's just the base of that tree. Is there stuff out there that I need to worry about? I don't think so. Yellow. That's a cool detail. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Uh -huh. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Vessel. So we learned the what shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. We learned what prepare your vessel means in the uh, demo. You'll see. If you didn't watch the demo, you don't know what's going on. Just keep watching. Anything else open over here? This looks fancy, though. Ooh, water feature. Nice. Hi, friend. Hello? It looks like it would be like a switch or something, but it's not. Is there anything in here? No. 
Okay. Cubic steps. Didn't we just do that? Oh, right. I just need to do this. There we go. Well done, my child. to go to. Oh no, that's another. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Windy day. Excuse me while I quickly do these. This particular set of puzzles is eh, give me. It's rather easy. Very good. I have a feeling we're gonna go through these very quickly, so. Forgetting E is not pick up. There's something around here. No, nothing to look at. All right. Oh yeah. I just need to break this beam. There we go. Give me. Versatile contraption. Yeah, just wait until it gets into the areas that you mess with, you know, time and teleporters and position. That's not... Can I please jam that? There we go. Can you not jam through things? game like it hit hit me like deja vu yeah oh hey do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages they are merely aspects of yourself technically as am I, after a fashion i guess technically you'll you'll see when you see later parts of the story static pressure That's not what I wanted. 
There we go. Next. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, that requires a different set. Do I go to this one? Yeah, there we go. Somebody goes hard on those bongos, man. Get in the hole. I am proud of I know I'm blowing through children. these, but it's just because Out of I the world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your Mental brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Hello. So, where do I need to go? What do we need to do? Oh, I remember this. Okay. Is there a spot I can put this that sees everything? Okay. Yep. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you. And this place is only a dream. Technically. It's more of a simulation. A test, if you will. Wait, where's the blue? Are you blue? No, oh, you're red. You're blue. Oh, you need blue and red. Hang on. That's right. two doors. Didn't I just do that? Was that me walking through the water or you got simulated fish in here? Oh, that's me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need this to bypass. I need you like that. But where is the question? Blue needs to go there. Red's already connected. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here. This is basically the tutorial.
ascension awaits. finished preparing your vessel. Now hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. In that world you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be Human. Okay. I must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into the Eden that it never was. The blacksmith. Now where do I go? What do we do? I'm back to the intro? I am. I went too far back. Exit. Hello. Step into the light, child, and awaken. Whatever happens, we're in it together. Lilith. Any others? No. Nope. Anything in here? Welcome to the world of the living. What's going on? <laughs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up. And now you're here. And rather confused. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see... We all Wait, start out a go? full knowledge of our own history, so oh. we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Okay, I can really use some pointers. Of course! You want the short version or the long version? I want to know everything in excruciating amounts of detail. All right, you asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human, like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate, and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. Didn't they have advanced medicine too? That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. But where did we come from then? A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. 
He didn't seem that bad when he spoke to me in my dreams. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us, and it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Was there anyone else in the simulation? Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the Archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. Simulation created us? It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and Eustathius. Together, using the tools left behind by the Progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the Founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. And how do I fit in? Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it The Goal. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. And I'm number 1,000. Exactly. We don't actually have 1,000 citizens because there have been a handful of deaths over the centuries. But you are the 1,000th new human to enter this world. Congratulations! Thank you. It was pretty exhaustive. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth oh. is quite the event. Will there be more humans after me? You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now, New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. You didn't That's need the orthodox view, I suppose, that. but there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. Am I immortal? What will you do now that your job is obsolete? Um. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. <laughs> oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. What will you do now that your job's obsolete? I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and... I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and... We'll see what happens. Alright. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to New Jerusalem Social Media. Completion Day Celebration. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, the hard work and faith of in the Founders' visions finally paid off at long last a goal. Established so long ago, we finally reached the thousandth member of our family to be born in a beautiful city. Will finally be complete. Uh, space at the dam is limited. Tickets will be available. 
via a lottery system. Celebration will also be streamed. Okay. Well, thank you, I guess. Up we go. Things be sparking. Is it the wrong way? Nope, it's not. Look, it's 1K! Hey, 1K! Welcome to New Jerusalem! Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? It's the big man. People of New Jerusalem. I am Prometheus, and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. Prologue, a brave new world. Nice. So I'm guessing the demo went through the prologue. I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The I'm mayor's just, just being okay. cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration, too dangerous. Expansion, too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. <laughs> Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. Always up for an adventure. That's what this whole game's about, right? God, this game looks so incredible. I know I, I was gushing all through the demo, but damn. It looks so good. End briefing. Okay. Oh. What's broken now? Who are you? Okay. I'm guessing that no icon above his head means I can't talk to him. Yeah. 
city. All right, listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonke. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, huh? Nice. What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. <laughs> A jiffy is an actual form of uh, time measurement. There's new interface available. I know you can't see that behind my head. Hello. Hey, six, hold six, on six. there. You're the newbie, aren't you? Number one thousand. I figured the dam would go dry before we reached the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Makes me feel Why? curious. Growth day, we're sure to see tomorrow. Look around, it's a robot city. What's there, there like? The last of Us, I'm sure I'm going to be special somehow. I don't know where this quote came from, but because life has found a way, I like that one. Lucky to see this at all. I don't see a way to explain it. Do life has found so a way. the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. Now listen, this meeting isn't strictly happenstance. Dude. I have some friends, the kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Really not interested. Are you sure? You might miss out on something juicy. I'm sure. Suit yourself. Before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. That's all I am aware. Number 666. Name is Doge. Or Dog? <sighs> I don't know if that's scripted or not. That's got to have some kind of symbolism, doesn't Welcome. it? Welcome. Do please join us at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. Hi, Dana. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Can anyone fill me out on what's going on? Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of it goes, Dana. adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Uh, kid's still sick. Work is still bullshit, but at least I'm getting to play a game I've waited years for. I think it's fascinating. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site-designated TTP-2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island. Oh, the youngest but kid. Couldn't really make That's sense sick. of them. 
I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. Sounds like a mystery worth investigating. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. Uh-huh. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. I'm in. Excellent. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before okay. you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Explore New Jerusalem, optional. Okay, so... There's stuff to read and social media to look at. Seriously, was the founder thinking... What in the what the founder was thinking that thing in this guy? Dear God, I can't read. <clears throat> we all saw that, right? I didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while Hermo was talking, didn't I? I mean, it's always tempting. No, we all saw it. I believe it was a sign from the founder. What else could it be on this day of all days? Pretty incoherent for a sign. Didn't even finish what he was trying to say. What does the founder have energy insufficiently prob problems to? Founder works in mysterious ways. Maybe it really was a sign. Thank you, 1K. Okay, I'm glad you see it that way. We must remain open to possibility of miracles. What possible way could that garbled mess have been a sign? Sign of life, not necessarily intentional, but a sign. Sounds reasonable enough to me. Something weird is going on for sure, but what? We'll have to see. Riddles and puzzles are the foundation of our journey, so it began. Perhaps so it will continue. Okay. Uh, Alcatraz Protocol, is what it called it. Okay. The island from Yakut. And just testing system, see if it works properly this time so we don't have another incident like Pellegrino uploaded his poetry to the public clock. I don't know what that says. All right. But if I wanted to, where do I go? Oh, you have something to say, don't you? What can I do for you, 1K? How did you decide to become involved in politics? How do you feel about Byron? What's your vision of the future? It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had left us and our society was at a crossroads. History teaches us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal, a path to equilibrium, not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. How do you feel about Byron? He is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. 
I simply wish he could be more reasonable. What's your vision of the future? I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves and in the natural miracles that surround us. Okay. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. I know there's a whole bunch of people to talk to. I want to go explore the city real quick and then go do the thing. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Oh yeah, there's Thank the you. DLC road and to Gehenna. And may the founder be with you. God, those puzzles were hard. I never finished that DLC. Really. It was so difficult. So what's this? Hello, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? 903. Sure, go ahead. I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. What's the problem? Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, We'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. What do you propose? We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. What do you make of Prometheus? Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's going to start affecting us. Why a referendum instead of an election? Oh, an election would be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Do you work at the dam? No, I help run the public transit system but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. We can't just wish them away. True. What do you know about Byron? In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. You know what? Sure, I'll sign. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Hey, Dorito. Good luck. How's it going? It's going. Finally getting to play a game I've been waiting for forever. When they announced it, I was super excited. I got to play the demo. Honored this is to meet you. insane. I can't read these signs. Oh. Apparently I can read those signs. Museum of Simulation Memorial. I want to see a Museum of the Simulation. It's over here. Tablets of the Founder. Create 1,000 citizens, the ideal number of humans. Live in harmony with nature, maintain balance in all things. Be respectful for, towards each other. Respect the traditions of our people. Be mindful of the mistakes of our ancestors. Uh, be thankful to the progenitor, Alexander Drennan. Be thankful for the keepers of memories. I can't pronounce those. Keep right the memory of Guinea and its people. Uh, peace. Okay. The tablets. Got it. I want to see the museum. Where's the museum? What's the story so far? Um, Elohim turned out to be a Founders program that um, was there to guide 
AI into uh, being more sentient to basically replace humans. Humans died out from thawing out some kind of bacteria or virus from the permafrost centuries ago, and they're making New Jerusalem, which uh, is supposed to be the first thousand new humans born into the world through this AI simulation training program, and you play as the thousandth new human. You know, AI robot. Then at your celebration, they, uh, it says museum is over there, but I don't see it. Honored to meet you. Elva large space for a thousand people. Yeah, it is. Wait, what does the sign say? Oh, yeah, you're right. Museum of simulation. Replica of the gargoyle asset from the simulation. Yeah, I remember that. Replica of Roman statue. Video game asset provided to Elohim by the Institute of Applied Neomatics. Earliest generations of our kind were only processing, no emotion, no character, just mathematics. If you could see how far we've come, you would believe that together we could achieve anything. The Shepherd. Excuse you. I'm just bad at science, it's okay. <laughs> Admit that the storyline is literally something humans are headed towards? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know where I am, but there's something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Sorry, Cornelius, I'm not trying to get in your face or anything. Nothing is more important than learning more about the world and our place in it. Knowledge is our path to understanding. Mr. Mulk. What are you? Greetings. You're number three. Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. My name is Cornelius. It's a pleasure to meet you, 1K. Your codes translate their caption exactly. I just scanned one. Yes, they do. You're number three? Yes. Athena activated myself and Eustathius shortly after she was born. We've been here almost since the beginning, although we didn't have to pass through the trials of the simulation. She did that for us. For everyone. Uh, I will come back to you. That's a lot of talking. I just want to look at this stuff real quick, then get on with the puzzles. Rebecca statue of Egyptian god Horus. Ooh, I remember the dragons. Dragon statue. I love the dragon statue. The original cube. Exahedron. The splody bots, the prisms. Oh, you can play all the original puzzles too. Sorry for just running around. Red emitter. Fan. Pressure plate, that's right. Something strange has come into the world, like a distortion, something that's not supposed to exist. A beautiful voice speaks within it. Bob. Well, these are the original terminals, too. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not talking to everyone. It's gonna take too long. I know some people want to do like 100% completion or whatever, but I do not have time for that. Okay, hang on. What's over here? These are all the assets that were used. Oh, wow. And they have one of the original puzzles. You literally just walk into... <laughs> it's all cardboard cutouts. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. This is actually one of the old puzzles from the first game. I remember this puzzle. 
I'm not going to do the puzzle, but I remember it. Oh, wow. And then the Egyptian area. And what's this? Is it the Gothic area? Yeah, it's the Gothic castle area. With actual puzzles you can do. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. All right, let's get out of here. Go do the main story. When they talk about the person that went through the simulation, are they talking hey, about the character okay? you played in the first game? I believe so. Welcome to New Jerusalem. I believe you play uh, in the first game as the first person to ever come out of the simulation completely. I can't be 100% sure, but I think that's what they're talking about. Alright, let's go to do the thing. These games are so interesting. I know, and there's a whole lot of, like, biblical aspect to it, and uh, a lot of um, religion that they try and I don't, I don't know if it's they're emulating religion or if they're um, playing off of it or trying to parody it with how they're treating this game. Um, but a lot of it is very Christian religion. And it's interesting how it's interpreted. I don't know. It's weird. I like it. It's cool. All right, bud. So... What's the verdict? Are we going? Uh, yes. I guess Byron was pretty convincing, hmm? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is going to fall apart while I'm gone. Actually, oh, yeah, we haven't been sleep. formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. <laughs> Saved you from the elevator. Yes, you did. Nice to meet you. People call me 1K. I don't Pleasure. want to be rude. Now let's get this show on the road. You ready to go? Absolutely. What kind of cutscene we gonna get for this? Here we go. Hold on to your hats. We really need to update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. We have a chance to make a real difference here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and dream of building new cities. Let's see if we can rekindle that flame a little. All right, this is going to be a long journey. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Unfortunately, Daddy my night. daughter's waking up. I'll be right back. Let me know what I miss. Okay. You have chosen a dangerous path. A path that will demand sacrifice. Uh -huh. But that, my child, is how the future is built. Nice vision. Wakey wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Status report, please. We hit some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. We're approaching the center of the island now. This should be the location of the largest of the artificial structures we detected. How large are we talking? Do we have precise measurements? It should be coming into view just about... Whoa. <laughs> it's all big. You can say that again. That is a bloody mega structure. If I had a spine, it'd be shivering. Ha! I knew this would be exciting. Yakut, find us a place to sit down. On it. It really is incredible. Remember to turn on streaming, everyone? 
we're Have sitting I ever down mentioned that, that I hate flying? If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. Oh. And touchdown. Act one, a voice in the wilderness. All right, everybody. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of, well, everything. Melville, tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Excellent. Okay. Then we can all go. Explore the area. I'm faster than you guys. Ooh. So this wasn't in the demo. Ooh. Fancy. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Schematics, blueprints, a manual would be great. Find schematics. So this went from just a straight puzzle game to an exploration. Whatever. Ooh. Fancy. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You know what would be special? An explanation. Uh-huh. Just had the door ripped off. This seems different from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, 1K. Working on it. like they were running some sort of experiment here. Oh. Fragment of Stratton's on the universe. Amentus, I grant you then the man that the man is indeed like Talos and cannot escape his material nature despite claims of metaphysics. As you have many times said, Nicod Nicomachus, too many perhaps, Stratton. Repetition is mother of teaching, and at least when the students are hard headed. That's okay. Um, that is the next question we must undertake to answer. We begin with the self because that is what determines our existence as individuals. But the self cannot exist without which surrounds it. The citizen lives within the city, the city lives within the cosmos. So now we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world and ask, if man is like a machine, could it be the universe is similar in nature? And if so, what follows from that fact? Footnotes use of the term metaphysics in this context is likely an error introduced in the Tres Trezebond manuscript the fragmentary Heraclon manuscript controversially uses superstitions instead okay Nemo project trials 1 through 3 successfully deployed input output Assistant. 
trials five through three, three and four insufficient, trials five and six, testing failed, power grid to unstable, okay, schematic. Done there. Thanks, 1K. Let's see what we've got here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it crashed. Hold on. There we go. Okay. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. Virginia station. So this is just teaching you that if you use two, it produces the third color. So like red and green will make blue. Red and blue will make green. That nonsense. Interesting. There's something I think. some of these structures though. Am I in sleep mode or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly in it? How do I get up there? I want to get up there. I want to see it. Can I climb this? Damn skippy. Connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Ooh. Um. Wow. So, wait, this decodes as you do more things? I guess. Travel the East One, I guess. Where is the capsule taking 1K? to that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Sorry, my bad. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. That was a nifty tr loading transition. Explore the area. This place is magnificent. Oh, it turns around. Look at it that around. tower. I wonder what it's for. How far can I explore? These worlds are massive, by the way. All right. Ooh, frog. So there is life down here. One it is. RGB shifting. So this is what I was talking about with that thing. A puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. 1K, go ahead. 
I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Okay, so I need to make blue. That device is. was not in the simulation. energy spike it's another particle cloud where's he going oh we can go through the barrier right up the particle clouds but it's headed for the lake nice I All think right, the clouds have been too. absorbed by some sort of device Fascinating. Melville? Yeah, yeah. Three I'll ten. add it to the pile of weird stuff. Oh, right. It has to be... I need to make red, so I need... Green. this machine that absorbs the particle clouds as far as i can tell it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes excuse me it's another puzzle collect enough energy build a bridge access the tower i think what is this a theme park maybe it's an experiment a rat maze it seems like an echo of the simulation not a deliberate recreation but built around the same core principles let's not jump to conclusions though what's clear is that this place was meant to be explored so let's do that okay yeah, three and four is this way and then there's two triangles i don't know what those triangles are Yeah, I need to collect that thing. Do that from up here. That was in the demo.
which is blue, green. Okay. Nope. Like I said, when I was playing the Entropy Center, um, the Entropy Center was a lot harder than Talos Principle. While Talos Principle, yes, it's hard. It's difficult. The original one. This one I ran the seems samples even I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Hello. What's this? From Hypatia's Journal, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 1. We finally set out from the dam today. The site that Athena and Cornelius picked for the city isn't far, but the vegetation makes it makes the going difficult. We found the secondary supply site easily enough, thanks to Alexander Drennan's instructions, but while I still have to compile the de a detailed inventory, it seems that many of the more complex materials are in bad shape. They must have expected the simulation to fulfill its purpose a lot sooner, but then they probably expected all 12 of us to be able to be here from day one, not just Athena. Tonight we have to use two recharging pods that we brought from the dam in four hour shifts, which is just as well. There's no telling what sort of critters are hiding in the underground undergrowth, and most of them will have to learn that our kind isn't edible. Booby steps. Oh my god, so much reading. I'm too tired to be reading this much. For the introduction to Are We There Yet? Where we came from, where we're going, and why you'll need snacks by Valerie Cantero. Oh, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can pause to read it. Dead City. Again, pause to read. I will read that in my own time, when I have more time to read. There's a question mark elsewhere, too. Alternative option. So I need the RGB shifter. Oh, I think I did this one in the demo. I need green. There's red, blue. Can't hit it from here. Imagine these puzzles are gonna get a lot harder. And somebody put the all into this music. Hey, bud. Iron. Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? Bigger than I thought it'd be. It's lovely. Feels like a museum. It's beautiful, but decaying. It's falling apart, man. It's fantastic. Self-contained, self-sufficient. Everything is so harmonious. 
from what I can tell, is not harmonious. It has power problems. It does feel like a museum. You know what? It feels like a museum. That's what happens when all you can think about is the past. We had such ambitions in the beginning. But now it's all turned inwards. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. All we need to do now is finish it. that dome and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. I want to ask you a question. Of course, ask away. What is the role of puzzles in our culture? When Alexandra Drennan was trying to find a way of creating true AI, she stumbled upon the idea that curiosity and playfulness are core characteristics of intelligence. So she built the simulation around a game because playing is part of what makes us human. Really? We also retain some of that code, as I'm sure you noticed when you were booting up. Because of that, puzzles have always been important to our culture. To me, they represent the idea that the application of reason can lead us forward. None of which sense. explains why these puzzles are here or who built them, but I think it shows that there must be some kind of intent behind them, perhaps a test. Okay. You know, this is what I thought Elohim would look like. Big towering bald guy. Hello. I don't want to talk to you. I could right now. Number five, though. Five has to be this way, then. Trevor Percival Donovan, known to his friends simply as Trev, never as Percy, was part of an extended lifespan project that formed the backbone of the simulation and the archive. Uh, he helped put together the hardware that made all of us possible, like Alexandria Drennan. He left behind a series of messages to the future. But unlike Alexandria Drennan, or I can't pronounce that name, he was forgotten. Not one building or street in New Jerusalem was named after him. I dug up his files from the archive and have been thinking about them a lot. So I heard that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess? Robot people of the future, hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexander Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking, a dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. I like this guy. When I was, yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank, I'm recording right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Y you know what? Why don't you go... Go fuck yourself. Why don't you fuck me yourself, you coward. Um... Ooh, what's... Hello? Okay, this one's a little bit more complicated. I need a green there. All I have is a red. I can't leave with this, but I can pull that out. Is there anything else in here? No. I actually need you in here. There's no way. I need I need another one of these. Right? Yeah, I would need another one of those. 
Oh, I see. Okay. Just don't be dumb, that's how. I have good news, and I have bad news. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Two stations are better than none. An impressive Sarcasm. success rate. Famously helpful. Why did we Not bring so you good. along again? Relax, newbie. I'm just pulling your leg. Which I helped make, by the way, so you better be grateful. Let's stay focused. We're in unfamiliar territory. We can't afford to get distracted. Al's right. Yakut, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty, though. Okay. Okay. Keep exploring, everyone, but stay alert. Well, there's five done. Um... Six, seven, and eight. Which way is six? Fix this one. Ooh, big flower. Eyeball? Something. Wow. God, this place is huge. still need to cross them. And this, I think, just takes me back in case I get stuck. Yeah, okay. Self-sufficiency. Interesting puzzle. 
never saw round puzzles in the original. Okay, so... This one's a lot tougher than the previous. There's nothing up here. Oh yeah, that just turns that fan on. Oh, the thing is up there, so my goal is to start this by making a red. that open, that holds that open, that holds that open. Right? Yeah. There we go. Nice. No, Eight though, that way. what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically, you're right. But is that? I can't tell what that is. How did you even manage? You're you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Clearly, you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you. What's new on social media? Now you've all been looking forward to playing uh, the winners of the biennial Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibi Exhibition. Now it's in its 312th edition at the Gehenna Mor Memorial Pavilion. There's so many big words. Fortunately, due to our new po uh, power management and distribution plan, the pavilion will have to remain closed for a little longer. Yeah. What's 1K like? By the Founders Pistons, I hope he's interested in mechanical engineering or something. We desperately need more people to keep the city functional so we don't have to rely on Melville to repair stuff that Pellegrino fixes. Hey. Remember when you fixed the door to the mayor's office? How long was Herman stuck in there? Trap one mayor in his office for a week and you're marked for life. Hope he's an artist. Really need to use some new stories, new ideas, lift our spirits. You know, if we just keep growing, we wouldn't have to worry about this, and we wouldn't have to imprison poor 1K in a cage of expectations. 1K will be whatever progenitor intended him to be, and whatever the founder foresaw when she established the goal. It's really interesting. Interested? He's really interested in history, which is an excellent start. Some of you should could learn a thing or two from his attitude. These are all good answers. I don't see a contradiction between engineering and art. You're right, of course, it's a false dichotomy. There's no need to feel pressured, 1K. I was just curious. Without power and resources, there's no art, just saying. City news. Long-awaited birth of our 1,000th and final citizen was interrupted today by an unknown projection in the skies. 
Uh, yeah, okay. That's stuff we already know. Okay, number eight. Entanglement. I see. So the goal is to get a green laser. Hello. Why can't I climb that? That definitely looks climbable. Red there. I can lift one right here. Also need I see. I can grab this cube. there. That red needs to stay there. And... I don't think you can float that without a box there. So... So those both need to be switched down. Okay, turn that off for now. And, and I just need to stand on this for a second. Is that not the answer? I thought that would definitely would have been the answer. Or, or... Break that. Aha! Just have to be smarter. Even smarter. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. Hey, I don't know what those triangles are either. I think they're... Maybe? Do I need to wait for everybody to get here? Alright. If this is anything like the demo... square and an L.
Yeah, there we go. I don't know if this is relevant, but St. Edwald believed that Tetrominos represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. Those are actually the only ones I was good at. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. Enter the tower. Is there nowhere else I can explore? I wonder if I could break the game and like walk off over there. Ah, nope. Where you be? Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Anything of consequence up here? Oh, come on. Let me up. I want to explore. Nothing of consequence. It's just a really fancy area, I guess. Man, the modeling work that must have gone into this. All right, elevator. That's slightly terrifying. Hello. In the beginning, the gods shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? Neither because perfection is impossible. The man who lives on the plains imagines that the gods dwell on the mountaintop. But if he followed the steep road, he would see his shadow in the clouds beneath. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? Zeus did not create fire. It was not his own. It was not his to own in the first place. If Zeus did not own fire, why should humankind? Angered by question. the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? may still be found if we're willing to look for it. Hope is itself an evil and of sorrow and suffering. We are lucky it did not escape. We suffer, but we do not anticipate it. This is a blessing as Zeus intended. Zeus intended for mankind, humankind to have hope. It should have been released. Zeus intended for humankind to not have hope. So it remains trapped. Um... Hope may still be found. Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, 
Or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Okay. Wonder if my choices are actually bad. Guys, look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks like a massive amount of power. Nice. We need to talk about what just happened. Yeah. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably the same technology. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? I think it was sentient and it seemed to react to what I was saying. Not sure the interaction wasn't long enough. E I'm not sure if it was sentient or not because I was just answering predefined questions. It could have been scripted. I'm not entirely sure. Let's skip that issue for now. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. It's testing me. Testing you to what? See if you're worthy? That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what a I good like? Mystery. Certainty. We should be careful. We don't know that these apparitions are benign. I don't disagree, but I still think we should proceed. 1K, keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. It's just massive. Freaking cool, though. Another set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. There was a harder set of puzzles in the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know 1K is probably like, yay, harder puzzles. But to me, that sounds like error code 704. No thanks. <laughs> I think we're done here for now. Let's head over to the next site. Dang, I thought I already did all those. And away we go. So it says here, gold puzzle, lost lab, and stars. Lost puzzles. Oh, the triangles are lost puzzles. Okay, so let's go to... Main puzzles, lost puzzles, gold, stars. Okay, so we, we can come back and get those, but as long as we do the main puzzles, we're, we're fine. These two. All right, everybody. I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site, but... While you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. You know, to get that success rate up a bit. Maybe there's another one of those labs that 1K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. This is to the next tower, and that one's way bigger. That one's almost built like a dam across a valley. Interesting. There's one. Quantum tunneling. 
Oh yeah, we saw the tunnel thing. Can't step through there, can you? No, you can't step through. this world spirit oh god that's a lot of reading what is it that drives historical processes is it it's easy to dismiss the idea of the great man or the great woman for that matter when clearly so much is determined by resource distribution pre-existing political structures and the randomness of the universe itself but there's no space at all for the individual in this there are not moments when in Heglian Hegli, yeah, Heglian fashion an individual may represent the world spirit itself was Napoleon history on horseback or not or is that itself another form of determinism uh, yeah you can Pause to read the rest of that. Founding two. What is this? Looks like base 64. That's the code. If there's still hope even for those who seem lost, son of man. There is still hope for even those who seem lost. Nice. From Hypatia Journal, Volume 1, The Founding of the New Jerusalem, Day 14. Melampus and Yemo went back to the dam to get more charging equipment. They've not returned yet, which means that we're stretched a little thin. Since we're still posting yards at all times, but those large herbivores haven't come back yet, and at any rate, Eustinius, this is the, I can't pronounce that assures us that they're non-aggressive, but it's better not to take any chances. Not when there's so few of us and so many of them. Athena and Cornelius and Eusthenius spend most of their time drawing up plans and arguing in a friendly manner, but still arguing still. The rest of us are managing to tune them out pretty well. It's like background noise after all. There's still hope for those who seem lost, son of man. We have started construction on the first habitat. It's going to be a temporary structure for now, but we'll all be glad to get out of the rain. Well, that's cool. Trevor. I like Trevor. So, what are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Well, look, I think humanity is awesome. I love humanity. As a species, we're great. 
I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? I mean, what did you do today, okay. animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. Or, you know, <laughs> I tore this other animal limb from limb, sniffed my friend's butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing Big Trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet, but it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They have no art, no cuisine, no pleasure. Animals are nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Except maybe a cat. I could be a cat. Okay. Oh, there we go. I need to go next question. Yes, I can. And then I need to bring something out here. that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's more to it than that. That's possible. Okay, three and four are that way. What can I do for you, 1K? Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. And there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. So I got involved with the administration side of things, uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials, uh, keeping track of our energy usage, that sort of thing. I think we've accomplished what the Founder wanted us to, and I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Byron doesn't see it that way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. You consider Byron a friend? Of course. My best friend, in fact. And someone I've worked with hundreds of times over the centuries. A good person who cares about the world and the people in it. I just also think he's wrong about everything and extremely annoying. <laughs> Sounds accurate. I think he likes annoying you. I think you can disagree and still be friends. The Founder taught us that we must never lose track of other people's humanity, even if they disagree with us. We're all in this together, even if we can't always see eye to eye. What do you think about the megastructure? I don't know. It's obviously impressive, but I think we should be very careful. We're dealing with powers we don't really understand. True. What do you think about the lab I found? I think the only reason to build a lab in so remote a location is because you're trying to hide what you're doing. Or... Yeah because what you're doing is dangerous. Uh, what do you make of the Sphinx? Whatever that being is, it told us that we stand before the fire. That can only be a warning, and I think we should take it seriously. We don't want another new Alexandria. What could these puzzles mean? Well, puzzles or... Uh, 
trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the founder, and they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. So to answer your question, no idea. So what if this is just another layer of a simulation, you know? I don't want to ask about the gold. What can I do nope. for you? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Didn't mean to hit E. I do like the triangle structures on this. <gasps> Secrets. What if I can hit that with uh, something from here? You can't hide that from me. Oops. You obviously grab that. And that's for a red. So then I don't... Okay. I don't need in there again. There's a blue here. need to keep at least one of them open, if not both, in order to get the both red and blue out. And that, we don't know. Monument, decorative for another puzzle. Two, four, seven, eight. Ah, interesting. What's in here? The new theology. Dr. Bernard Shaw. Object of the whole evolutionary process is to realize. God, that is to say, instead of the old notion of creation began with a God, personal being, who being perfect created something lower than himself, the aim of the new technology is to turn that process the other way and to conceive of the force behind the universe as working up through imperfection to end mistake to make a perfect organized being having the power to fulfilling its highest purposes. In a sense, there is no God as yet achieved, but there is a that force at work making God struggling through us to become an actual organized existence enjoying what to many of us is the greatest conceivable ecstasy the ecstasy, is of, ecstasy of a brain and intelligence actually conscious of the whole and with executive force capable of guiding it to, perfect, per, to a perfectly benevolent and harmonious end that is what we're working to a great way of looking at it. Build a load profile. Oh look, another hex. From the lives of the first companions by Randolph Triple Seven. This decodes to you are diligent in your pursuit of hidden truths, son of man, after all. After these events name Nima, Nim, 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 decided to consult the writings of the ancients, but while philosophy and religion interested her, it was art in all its forms that came as a re revelation to her delight that she discovered that meaning was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, 
but that it could also be found in stories that even the characters and events of the story were not factual. They had a validity and weight as if they somehow were real after all. She was astonished that such a profound experience was freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it. So she set out to enrich the inner lives of her fellow citizens by promoting the arts, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. I never did finish Road to Gehenna, so... It sounds nice, but I'd love to meet her one day. She must know more about New Jerusalem art history than anyone. When we do, remind me to explain how to pronounce her name. Default settings in language li libraries are wrong. <laughs> Nice. I do like the hex stuff. I'm not going to read all that. That's a lot to read. Okay. Anyway, back to 2, wherever 2 is. I think it's this way. Okay, back to solving this puzzle. <laughs> back up. Overcomplicating it. I keep thinking, why puzzles? Is it just their symbolic value because of our history? Because the thing about puzzles is they can be solved. But if this is about testing us, what are we being tested for? It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Our curiosity? Our persistence? You're assuming that this place follows a coherent logic. My impression is that it's full of contradictions. Yep. Chock full. Number four. Placement. There we go. Way easier than I thought it was. You know something that's weird about these puzzles? They're not replicas of the simulation puzzles, like the ones in the museum. Wasn't there an artist who did an exhibition a few years ago that involved new puzzles of some kind? That was Barzai. It was called Trials of an Imagined Past. I tried to get you to come along. You thought it would be boring. Were they similar? No, not at all. Was it boring? I thought it was interesting. Interface content available. I'm looking to see if there are any... things that I can hit from there. 
And you can click on them surprisingly far away. So. Okay. Well, let's go to five. And yeah, four is not lit up anymore. That green's going way over there. I don't even know if green is the right color to be sending over there. No other clues? It's just there's something in four that you can do. We'll come back to it. Here's five. Duet. Click. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much. Okay. What can I hit from here? That? I just need something to go through there. And you're just a tunnel. Right. I need to reset some stuff. There we go. Any progress on the particle clouds, Melville? It's pretty clear they're integral to how all of this functions. I've gathered a lot of data, but I still have a lot of numbers to crunch before I can give you an answer. And I can't guarantee that my answer won't be another question. <laughs> I'm glad we don't get headaches. Six is this way. Passage. Where does this take me? Way over here. This out of here, what I want. Apparently not. What does that accomplish? Not a damn thing. whole goal is to put something here to turn that on. Right, but I can't take this out of here. That can be jammed. Or not jammed. They could be drilled. Hang on. Wait, we can't go through the bars, which is dumb. Oh. Let's 
So wait, now that I have both of them here, how do I get both of them out? Oh, I have toes. Yeah, it has a predetermined landing. You can't affect the mid-air. You can't walk through a hole. Oh! You can just drop it through the other side. Aha! stuff through the hole. Two more. Does it still do that blue trail thing? I don't see a blue trail. Seven's this way. Oh, no, this is lab. This is very similar to the structure where you found the schematics. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. What were they doing here? And who are they? is a wonderful place. Every day, we take another step forward. Every day, we come closer to the truth. The closer we get, the more I can see the beauty of the universe, the intricate perfection of its mechanisms. I am a machine, and the universe is a machine. Every part of me serves a purpose, or I could not be myself. I could not be Miranda, because that specific person could not exist without those specific parts and their specific functions. In the same way, every part of the universe serves a purpose. I think that is what we were meant to discover here. Okay. Ow. One K. You just connected to an extremely powerful data stream. Are you all right? Yes, you were streaming. We all saw uh, something. You're lucky it didn't fry your motherboard. Please, everyone, let's be careful with these terminals from now on. Yes, let's all try not to die. More importantly, who the hell is Miranda? There's no one by that name in New Jerusalem. I just searched the database. Um, must be one of the people who built this place. A new person. Someone we've never heard of before. Someone born outside the city. We have to find out more. But where Possibly. did they come from? And how many people does it take to build something this huge? Like I A said, ton. we need to find out more. Well... You'll be happy to hear that I'm about to fix another part of the transport system. Thanks for the files, Wonke. I hope they didn't fry your brain. Almost. 
see what the rest of these are. Stratton ideas. Oh, I'm not going to read all that. You guys can pause to read it. Nemo project. Oh my god, so much hex code. Again, let me know in the comments on YouTube after this is done publishing to uh, what these are. Oh, yeah, there is. Untitled draft. Again, pause to read. sake of keeping this uh, playthrough in a timely manner. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else of importance. Okay. And it says there's a piece of the puzzle at seven. There's another one of those monuments. Uh-huh. Here's seven. Is there anything interesting on the way up to it? No. Okay. Eye of the needle. So apparently I gotta be super precise about something. to be able to hang on can I in here. Ah, that's where the end is. Right? Yeah, that's where that hole is. That's where the end is. This is a complicated puzzle. So wait, if I do... That, what does that do? opens this. Okay, but I have to get... Oh, I see what it means by Eye of the Needle. See, that doesn't make sense. How do we get in to move that and then back out? Because there's two separate gates in the way. to extract an audio file from 1K's data stream incident. It's hard to be sure, because it's just a fragment, but I think it's some kind of log or diary. We finished a new lab today. 
Some processes are still harder than others, but energy output was up 2,000%. It's incredible how each leap forward enables another. The next iteration of the machine will... So as we suspected, someone was experimenting here, but experimenting on what? What was this machine they were building? Maybe it's whatever powers the megastructure. I'm looking for anything that this can connect to outside of the puzzle. Well, I'll come back to it, I guess. Go do eight and then find the gate. It's the puzzle, the clues. No, this is a different one. Seesaw. Alright. So, red behind one, blue behind another. Then I need a blue inside there to finish it. Like don't cross the beams. <laughs> okay, this should have been easy, but it's not. I'm too tired for this. Oh. You go from green to orange. something like that.
Halt, creature of clay. You have strayed from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your ken. Turn back now, before you harm yourself and others. We were invited here. Prometheus had no authority to summon you. He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore heed my warning. The flame is not for you. We need to know about more about these technologies for the future of New Jerusalem. You seek the flame of enlightenment. But remember that fire can also burn. bloody things are there i think that was pandora which matches the other one being prometheus they seem to be locked in some kind of conflict might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire until we understand yeah. what these entities actually are good idea see stuff randomly glitching in the background if that's from stuff loading in my computer or if it's intentional in the game. Next. So we did. I didn't find the lab on the first one. Oh, oh my god. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve areas to open the this thing. Wow. So I'm currently here. Let's go here. Travel at East 3. After Wong K found those labs, I started thinking. Where did all the tech come from? So I had a look at the serial numbers, and it turns out the answer is... New Alexandria. Oh. Wow. That... I, I guess that makes sense. After the explosion, the colony was abandoned. Nobody ever went back for all that stuff. We had enough to deal with. So many dead. So that's one question answered. But how did they go from scavenged Alexandria tech to all this? How did we go from nothing to where we are now? Through the application of reason and the right tools. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That is terrifying. Look at the size of that structure. How does the material support so much weight? Is it the same stuff as the other buildings? Yeah. I know it looks like some type of concrete, but the molecular structure is completely different. Whatever it is, it's a lot stronger and less brittle. Are the labs made out of the same material? No, that's just ordinary concrete. Although, it does have some molecular weirdness going on, too. Too little variation in the grain. Well, there's a head. Of, oh, no, there's a whole body over there. Dude, this place is massive. All right, one through five is this way. There's one. Ooh, I like the circle. Ah, inversion. So, the opposite of red is blue, apparently.
this one's easy. Probably made it easy on purpose. God, that is so crazy looking. Two this way. And like the first Talos Principle had a really good way of like showing you the scale of something, but this is totally different. And the music is amazing, and you could tell they put so much work into this. It's insane. Alright. Alexandria all the time. Hello. But realizing this place was built on its bones just brings it all back even more. We were so optimistic when we started. So full of ourselves. Thought we could accomplish anything. Hello. And then, in one single moment, it was all gone. I remember a flash. And then just lying there, realizing that my legs had melted. I tried to pull myself away from the fire, but the servos in my arms were broken. If Eustathius hadn't found me, sorry. Just some old scars. Oh. Uh, sir? Ma'am? Whatever you are? When we uh, go to New Jerusalem, go. I'm going to have a cat. He's going to be black and white, and his name is going to be Bean. And I'm going Bean. to make Love sure it. that he never gets sick, and he never gets old, and he'll be my best friend forever. Ah, there's a secret. See the dotted line there. Looks like there's multiple there. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and do all the secrets later, huh? There and back again. You need a green. What gives me green? Oh my god, there's so many of these. I only needed that open to grab the other thing, and that's there. Oh. Hey, you. What do you do? RGB converter. Let's think about this. I need to convert that to blue. Okay. 
There we go. Anything else in here? Ah. There's whatever that statue is. Hello. Good. Let's get some measurements from this particle cloud. Wait, what? It's not even showing the particle clouds anymore. Fraction makes perfect sense. Well, I obviously need to open that red first. Right. Nothing else here. And I can't remove that one from there because it has to connect to that as blue, which means the other end has to. Red, blue, red, blue. Yep, that's how you do it. Go. I am no longer dumb. Oh, all right. Get five. Ah, oh, the golden thing. So, what's the clue this time, huh? See what this says. That's all reading. From Hypatia's Journals, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem. Day 42, we broke ground on the first of the permanent structures today, a large hall that will eventually be converted into a performance and an exhibition space, my idea. Though for now, we use it as a workshop. It's strange, this place. There's a lot of open space, and I didn't think that I would find so, it so unusual, but I suppose we all spent more time in the dam than was originally planned, and now it's difficult to get used to not having that low ceiling over our heads. It's probably just me. Byron loves being outside and always volunteering for scavenging missions. Lift the seer? Lift, lift the seer? How do you pronounce that? Usually tags along, although he seems to be more fascinated with observing nature and various weird creatures. At night, I sometimes catch myself standing by the door, not because I have guard duty, just watching the stars. It's oddly comforting to think that they've always been there, that they watched our ancestors standing where I now stand. Uh, from Miranda to 5358, so more than 1k there. Finished setting up the external site at the lake. Area so stunning we forgot about the experiment for a while. I went for a long walk. The ways in which all these the different aspects of nature interact with each other are endlessly fascinating to me. And the sheer variety of living things, even on a simple green meadow. Sadly, we then stumbled into onto a carcass of a deer that had been torn apart by wolves. It must have suffered enormously. Thinking about that made me feel truly terrible. So much pain in nature. Oh, dear God, that is long. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'll go back and read it later. You guys can read it. Pause to read. Okay. All right. Sir. Where am I? This was three. Uh, five, seven, eight. 
Here's five. Imprisoned. Right. Is there not more of those balls? Where are you? Oh, so it swaps which one is on and which one's off. So that would work. But I need a way to turn that one on from over here without crossing that laser. And if I can maintain that long enough. Oh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Aha! Yep. <laughs> oh. I sent the drone to have a look at one of the other puzzle clusters. It seems they remain inert until they're connected. I uploaded the pictures to the log. Should we check them out with the VTOL? Let's conserve fuel as much as we can. There's no point in going there if it's all dead. True. There's six. Hidden. Oh, and I haven't quite explained what these are yet. So if you get stuck, you can use a Prometheus tunnel if you... Terminal, sorry. If you have... Um, one of those red hands. So we... So right above me here, you see that little red flame thing I found in the first puzzle area? If you have one of those, you can skip a puzzle. But you have to find those in the... The, um... You know... Thing or the stuff around you, so... This one looks complicated. Okay, so what does that get me? I hear somebody walking. Is there somebody here? That opens that. What is opening that do? I don't quite understand what that do. Was that supposed to be the intended solution? For this, it's going to be one of those aha moments. I'm going to hate myself. Aha ha ha ha. Aha ha. I did it. Bass backwards. Ah! Hang on. I see what needs to be done. Now that's self sustaining. I can pull this. Perfect. Ah. Pain in the ass. Two more. Back 
backward propagation. That seems complicated. I need a blue. Looking like wet shadow effect. Is there anything else here? No, just two converters. That wasn't nearly as hard as I was making it out to be. Hmm. Every one of these clouds seems to contain exactly the same amount of energy. Okay. What does that mean? Hello. to discover on this island that sometimes it overwhelms me. Every lake, every forest contains an incredible, interconnected, permanently changing network of organisms. And every one of those organisms is almost infinitely complex and contains other organisms within itself. It seems impossible to ever really grasp, but then, step by step, I do understand it takes time and effort, but it's not impossible. And there's a lot of joy to be found in simply taking the time to truly study something. I spent five years studying a single flower, and it never got boring. Nice. So where's the last one? Then it'll show me where the gate is. Positional interchange. Ah. It's going to again get complicated. We can't take the square through there. We need a blue with the interchange. from inside there is the thing. That lifting somehow makes sense to get the blue over there, but how do you get a blue? Uh, I may have to skip this one. I am, I am dumbfounded by how to do this. It has to do something with lifting up here. I'm 
on the right track. I could take the red output from that and go there. Or I could take the... No, I could take the red output and go there. Or I could take the blue output and go there. Makes more sense to do the red output to this. But then how do I reflect? Ah, oh, I think I see. Hang about. Backwards, but I got it. And go to the gate. Excuse me. Hey, friend. So, When the craftsman Daedalus was imprisoned in the very labyrinth he had created, his only solace was his son, Icarus. To escape their plight, he fashioned wings of feathers and wax. He warned his son to fly neither too high nor too low, but his son, enraptured by the freedom of flight, flew too close to the sun. Thus the wax in his wings melted, and he fell to his death. What was the sun's error? That's a tough one. Hubris, carelessness, lawlessness, disobedience, impatience, or idiocy. I mean, the, the story will tell you it's about hubris. But that's not what our logical character would think. I would say either idiocy or carelessness. It, I wouldn't see it as disobedience since he got carried up in the moment. If he wanted to soar so high, I should have built better wings. Between impatience and idiocy.
What matters the substance of his wings if the sky was not meant for him? Yeah, After the death of his son, Daedalus withdrew in sorrow to a foreign land. King Minos came looking for the craftsman to exact his revenge. The answer to a riddle revealed where Daedalus dwelled. But for Minos, that answer was his ruin. Consider King Minos burned in his bath as you seek your own answer. Okay. Structure. It's opening. Three receivers, three towers, three beams, as we suspected. I think this is an invitation. Doesn't look that inviting to me. If you consider the size of the entire structure, then that opening must be big enough to drive a building through. Or oh, the veto. Mm -hmm. You want us to go in Oops. there, into the creepy triangular maw of death. Yep. Maw of death? I think it looks charming. If this place is dangerous, it could pose oh, it a threat key, to New exactly. Jerusalem. We have to investigate. Oh, all right. I'm not winning this, am I? No. Nope. Let's meet up with the VTOL, everybody. <laughs> We're going in. Is it you? Oh, this is the lab. These labs seem to be everywhere. But compared to the technology we're seeing above ground, they're downright primitive. Yeah. Are we even sure that the labs and the puzzles belong to the same people? There seems to be a connection between the experimental setups in the labs and some of the puzzle technology. Correlation does not necessarily imply causation, though. True. But just because we don't understand the connection, that doesn't mean it's not there. What we have here is two things that reflect each other. We just don't understand how that reflection works or what causes it. Maybe Miranda can tell us. Possible. Oh my god, these are so long. Okay. Interesting. Okay. This one didn't have any blueprints or anything. Just a machine room. Screw it. I'll come back to it. my analysis of the particle clouds at first I thought they might be some kind of nanotechnology but I was wrong it's a lot worse than that a what we're looking worse. at is a completely unknown type and state of matter completely inexplicable within our understanding of physics created and manipulated by someone fascinating yeah crude Take us in. Aye, aye, sir. Sorry, I keep hiding my camera. I, I just want you guys to get a cinematic view. Of Have any of you on. ever read an ancient writer called Ian Banks? I guess not. He postulated the concept of the outside context problem. That's when a society encounters something so advanced, so different, that they simply could not have conceived of it. That's what this is. This whole place is one giant outside context problem. And we're headed right into it. I think I can set down over there. Should I? Please do. 
I can't wait to get a closer look. I love that guy's voice, by the way. Reminds me of uh, Chris Eccleston. Been revisiting Doctor Who lately. Setting down. Okay, everyone. We need to explore as much as we can, separately if need be, but stay in touch. Record anything interesting you find, and pay special attention to any clues as to who built this place and why. The schematics we found in that lab were extremely incomplete. So if you can find any more of those, that would be great. I think someone should stay at the VTOL just in case. I volunteer you. See you later, Ralph. In we go, I guess. Those are the statues that were are like supposed to be effigies of Elian or something. Yellow. Now that's a screenshot. On a second, 1K. I think I can find an override for that door. Maybe after that, you can help me with this elevator? One problem at a time. What's going on with these file structures? Okay, door should be opening. Now, oh, where's she going? about the elevator. Actually, the elevator's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No idea where I am. Ooh. Isn't this an incredible space? Look at it all, it's beautiful. I agree. That's good, that's excellent. I find that a lot of people these days can't see the beauty in things created by human hand. Not they can sure look at an ant colony or a coral reef and be impressed, but if it was made by humans, they just don't see it. It's good yeah, to be humble as an individual, but we have to be careful not to lose track of our accomplishments as a species. If we're impressed by the complex patterns produced by animals, then this, this should be breathtaking. Dude, okay. What are you? What are you by knocking at, sir? All right, into that door, I guess. Dude took the elevator, so I couldn't. Well, there's a hand terminal thing over here. Chernyshevskis. Oh, dear Lord, that's a lot. In our likeness, essays on humankind reaching adulthood. Okay, well, that's really long. I'm not gonna read it. I'm just trying to play through the puzzles and see the end of the game. I'm guessing those uh... oh, hey, it's the lady. Go, 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 go. I guess we're going in the door. Oh, close behind us. Hello. This is pretty. I do appreciate the the uh, nature overtaking cybertech. Motif.
Didn't I just come from this way? Yeah, okay. The circle. get so far ahead of me you could hey 1k can we talk for a second that whole thing with the elevator just gave me the creeps here what's up when we first arrived here i was really excited it's such a huge place the technology is so advanced if we figure out what it all means we could really change the future of new jerusalem the mayor says we have to avoid repeating the mistakes our ancestors made to stay humble, to not reach too far. And that sounds very abstract, but I've seen the ancient cities. I've seen how much they built, how much they grew, how far they fell. So I've been thinking, what if all this sets us on the same path? What if this is too much power for anyone to control? I mean, this place can be dangerous, but we need to understand it. I don't think what went wrong with our ancestors was too much power. I think original impulse was correct. New Jerusalem needs this technology. I think it's more complex than that. Power isn't necessarily good or bad, honestly. I think it's too early to tell. The mayor's premise is wrong. He's assuming history can only develop in one way. Ooh. These last three are good. I'm gonna go with, I think it's more complex than that. Power isn't necessarily good or bad. So what do you think it was? What made our ancestors destroy themselves? Actually, lack of power. They weren't careful with the side effects of growth. Just bad luck. Got the priorities wrong. Invested in medicine before the virus that would survive. Let us most of them want to do things differently, but the political systems wouldn't let them. That's a good one. It doesn't matter what it was. It's we're not them. <sighs> That's a hard one, too. I do like that these help you question your morals and understanding of the system around this whole thing, but does answering this any different have any different outcome later is a bigger question. I'm still leaning towards this one, so let's do most of them wanted to do things differently, but their political systems wouldn't let them. And what will prevent us from developing the same political problems? Oh my god. We can learn from the past. Funny, that's exactly what the mayor said. But you're right. If it's possible to learn from the mistakes of our ancestors, that means history doesn't have to repeat itself. Exactly. Thanks for talking to me, 1K. I know we're in the middle of something, but I kind of needed that. You're welcome, I guess. Nothing like forced conversation in a game, right? Gravity thing? Gravity. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, you're running ahead of me. Oh, look, another set of gates. Looks like another set of puzzles. Same pattern, one gate, three receivers. Like some sort of fractal symmetry. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's so big.
activate the beams. Oh my god. Okay, let's go straight across first, I guess. to the path to the end. Alright, that makes perfect sense, I guess. At least there's not any, like, enemies to worry about. Whatever. But I may have spoken too soon, because this is creepy as hell. Some kind of hissing sound. Okay, we have a tunnel. A red thing. goes to the green. Okay. How do I turn it on? Big lever. Good job, 1K. I don't need your reassurance. I could use your help, though. Big blue thing. Right. Let's see what's in this door before we end stream for now. The gate's open. 1K if you want to, go ahead. I'll finish up scanning this. Yeah, it's going to make me go all the way back down there, huh? At least those are getting knocked out of part of the system. I think I've tracked down some more schematics, though. Let's see. This might do something. Or not. Let's see what's in here. Let me guess more puzzles. 
hello. The terminal. Question. To Miranda from whatever that is. I was doing some reading while the last trial was running and I came across something I don't understand. There are a lot of references to ancient humans feeling that silent science is boring. To me, everything we're studying is mind-bendingly incredible. Whether it's quark gluon deconfinement or neutrino, anti-neutrino oscillations or even something incredibly basic like the properties of light. I understand why our ancestors carried, cared about art, but why a beautifully crafted story or poem was moving to them. But how could they not see that everything was surrounded to, that surrounds us is just as incredible? Studying science is like studying the most incredible machine ever created. A machine designed to build worlds and tell stories. How could they not see that? I'm sure there's a good explanation, but I, I don't get it. Miranda. Nema system. Mother? What are you thinking about, Mother? The Talus Principle. You see, it has two applications. One is to the self, it means facing the truth, even if it frightens us. Understanding that living beings are machines and we can't afford to lie to ourselves. But that's just the beginning. The second application is to the world. This one seems easier at first. It's less difficult to understand that the universe is a machine governed by laws. So we and the universe are the same? No, and that's the crucial part. We are conscious. Consciousness is rare, unlikely, but it's also the foundation of everything else. Without us, there can be no meaning. Without someone to perceive it, the beauty of the universe is pointless. But that shouldn't make us arrogant. No, in fact, it means we carry a tremendous responsibility. We are the light of the cosmos. And if we go out, there will be nothing but a cold, Dark machine. Act two Human Form Divine. From Divine. Athena. The founder was here? She could still be here. What if this For all we know? This is why she left to build all this. We have to look for her. I'm reading some pretty big energy spikes. I think we better scramble. But she could be right here, right behind the next door. I could turn around a corner and walk right into her. If she's really here, she'll still be here when we come back. But right now, safety needs to come first. Let's go, Byron. You... Oh. Damn you, but you're right. Heading back. All right, we're going to get back to the ship and then we'll end stream there. That's a long way was to that run, really though. the founder? I think so. It was her. For years, I've wondered what happened to her, why she left, where she went, why she didn't... why she didn't tell me. If the answers are here, I promise you we'll find them. We just Absolutely. have to be careful. Follow protocol. I still can't believe the founder built this place. Has she been here the whole time? We don't know that she actually built it. All we know for sure is that she was here at some point. Of course she built this. Who else would have the kind of vision necessary to accomplish something like this? The question is why, and why like this? Why recreate all these aspects of the simulation? What is she trying to tell us? It does seem like it might be a test. I can't imagine any other explanation. But why is it so broken? Or does it just appear to be broken so that we have to learn how to fix it? I hate this. 
Well, it's a good question. I know one thing for sure. Everyone in New Jerusalem is going to go absolutely nuts. All right, take us back to base camp, Yakut. Yes, sir. A Yakut. I'm getting some new readings. My voice sounds Looks deeper. Like two of the northern uh, sites are lighting up. I, I think that may have been me. I suspect the puzzles are somehow tied to the transport system. Like we're supposed to solve them in a particular Had some order. sinus issues lately, but you know. That's a cool view. With a laser. Um, relays. I don't have any filters on my mic that would make my voice sound deeper, so. I don't know. Our main objective is getting back into the mega structure. 1K, I want you on puzzles. You seem to have a knack for them. But the rest of us so can't pretty, neglect yeah. our secondary objectives of studying this island and understanding this technology. Uh -huh. So we could go back and complete all of the extras from those other places, but... We still have three towers to do. Okay, anyway. Intercapsule. Oh, so we have to go to this one next. So are we doing the north ones now? I guess. Travel north one. You should be headed towards an island off the northern coast. The terrain's pretty rough, so be careful. Yes, it has several actually. How here? What? Okay. That's pretty, though. It almost looks like a ship. Tom's getting buggy? I guess. It doesn't let you look around while you're in the beam. Interesting. So what's over here? Oh. Oh. So the puzzles are the ship thing here. Interesting. Hello. Mind body dualism. Take control. Okay, this is weird. What the? Okay, weird. Body swapping. Okay, that, that's going to get confusing. I'm guessing I need me to go through it. Yeah, okay. Hope you feel better soon. I'm not actually sick, I just have a bit of congestion. The rest of the family's sick. So that was a puzzle, but there's no number one on it. Icky, icky, go away. Fuck off and don't come back today. Uh, leg up. Hello? It's a platform. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. That is so disconcerting. 
But we can get a better look at ourselves. Oh, it says 1,000 instead of 1K on there. That is weird. Oh, I need to get both of us on that platform. How do I do that? Oh, I think I know. No, I need you to stand here. Well, I jump there and take control. Step off. Then how do I get him up here? Or no, I don't need him. Up. Oh wait, what? Take control. Take platform. No, I don't need him up here. I just needed that. Wait, what's up, Dorito? Any further insights on the particle clouds, Melville? To be okay, honest bye. with you, Byron. I feel like a caveman trying to study Bose-Einstein condensate. I'm seeing unknown particles whose every property violates Extreme. the laws of physics, apparently capable of being controlled oh, and no. recombined into just about anything. It's ridiculous. Maybe someone in New Jerusalem can figure it out. Sure, so just give them another thousand years. Go? Just here. So I need to have... I need two of those. I can get in here. I don't know why I need to get in there. Uh, Alright, let's try something. I'm gonna take the platform, stand in front of one of these. Take control. Take the connector. Up, jump there. Over here. Oh, I can't even select those. Hang on. Let's, let's try this. One, but not both. And I could just do this, but that only does that one. Oh! Duh! God. There we go. I thought you had to do both of them at the same time. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you up there, buddy. I think you're good. Oh, hi. One K. I've been watching you solve these puzzles, and this body replication tech is incredible. It just casually blows up the very foundations of our society. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you have any idea how hard it is to make more of us? We're not like a toaster. You don't just weld together a couple of wires and a motherboard and call it a day. Not to mention how hard it is to even find some of the materials. And this thing just... Poof! New human! The goal was to stop at 1,000, wasn't it? It was. Or was it? And even if it was, sorry to be heretical, 
but does it matter? If we can figure out how this works, we can finally, easily create more people. We can grow. We can expand. We can build a real civilization. Isn't that worth pursuing? Absolutely. Our cosmic duty to spread consciousness. Maybe there are legitimate reasons to limit population. I don't really have an opinion about this. Maybe there is some point where there's enough people, but that's this is not it. This is very dangerous. We decided to limit ourselves for a reason. Um, I don't really have an opinion about this. Well, I do. People get on my nerves, but without them, the world is boring. Yes, people cause problems, but even the problems they cause are interesting. Don't tell anyone I admitted this, but why do you think I do this job? Without people to populate the universe, what's the point? True. All right, I'll get back to work. This body replication technology is proof of just how vital this expedition is. We may not know how it works and what its limitations are, but the technology itself isn't even what really matters. Oh, what the matters thing. is to expand our imagination, to realize that other futures are possible. And one uh -huh. key, just think about this. If we had stopped making new citizens, you oh, wouldn't be here. Key. And isn't it wonderful to exist? Simply to be in this world? Consciousness is a gift. Okay, which way to the next one then? What soul this thing? Oh, that's four. Okay. I don't like this duplicate thing. <laughs> oh no, there's two of them. Oh no, this just got more. There's. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab this and stand next to this. Take control of that one. Hop there. Hop there. Take back control there. Oh no, then I need. What do we need? I need to get that one. Can I grab it from here? Put it all the way up against it. I can't even interact with it. Wait, are all of these 1K? They are all the same body. Interesting. So I don't even have to get back to my original body. There's no other ledge, right? Why can't I take that? I can literally just reach up and grab it. This is dumb. Oh, unless... Hang on. That's how to do. Okay, then I need to figure out how to how to hup hup. Okay, let's unstack for a second. Let's all get close to the box. So I can be on top of you. And I can be on top of you. Just walk up to this. Or do I need the box up here? Or no, do I just set the box here? Just like we did over there. We all gather around. Right, so I need to get on top of you. Then on top of you. There we go. Oh, 
Well Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Keep going. Probably have to do your stack with the box on the bottom so you can get up there and look around. All right. Uh, five is this way. That seems to... Yeah, that seems to be five. Ow. The gift. Okay, I need a box to get that. Um, oh, hi. Wait, can't I just... Oh. So that's what it is. Gotcha. So I need both of us up here, but how do I do that? I wonder... Can I set you here? Ah, not close enough, huh? That's not close enough to grab from up there. Trick is in the name of the level. Oh, I can. Put it on the no. Oh. Get off. Up you go. Stand on the thing. I can't see myself from here. Fuck. Well, you go stand on the thing. Ah! Guys, I am dumb. I don't even care if that's the original body or not. There, there's a closer look at it. That's just a little statue of the bigger thing that we're on. Oh, there goes the blue thing. All right, is there anything else around here is a question. Uh, nope, just instant death. It's so long. If these are long, I'm not going to read them. I've been reading the stuff in between streams, so I kind of get what's going on. From the per personal reminiscences of Mit Mitku 166, there are some people whose true importance you just don't notice at first. People who quietly hold things together without making a big deal of it. That's what Cornelius was. Always by Athena's side, he calmly and carefully helped us all stay on track, reminding us of our shared humanity and the values that had brought us this far. I can't imagine how painful it must have been when Athena left him behind. He went on his so-called research expedition. Most people thought he went looking for her. To be honest, I thought he might never come back. But I was surprised when he finally did. I don't understand how she could leave him. They seemed to love each other so deeply. After he returned, Cornelius was different. He found the muse founded the Museum of Civ... If I could talk, that'd be great. After he returned, Cornelius was different. He founded the Museum of Simulation and very rarely left its premises. The archive scholars doted on him, but he walled himself off becoming almost as much of a, of a reclusive as Eustanius. And only did I, only then did I slowly understand how much the city had lost. Blake 
I am not going to put that in a hexadecimal decoder. You're more than welcome to. You could pause the stream and go look at what the hell that is if you want. God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in night but does human form display to those who dwell in realms of day. That's... Okay. Excerpt from... I'm not going to read these. They're like their type of Bible verses. Um, yeah, again. You pause to read if you want. that life is inherently valuable if we think that other species are worth preserving and we recognize that most of the universe is barren then it follows that we have a duty not only to defend life but to spread it if life is the most valuable thing in the universe then perhaps in a sense the cosmos itself is depending on us to do this like birds carrying seeds to uninhabited islands maybe that's our role in the galactic ecology Two body problem. What do we have? Nothing. So I need to get a connector. Excuse me. But there's no way in there other than connecting to it. There's the end. That's a blue laser. The red is behind that. Opens that. What does this do? That opens that. Oh, and the blue is in here, and the red is in here. So, oh no. I need to stand here and there. There? Okay. There we go. That was just a process. Hey. Two more. I can't imagine spending years in such a desolate place. For what? Neither can I. Science? Enlightenment? I'd much rather be back home in New Jerusalem. I think it's beautiful. Oh. In oh. its own way. Oh. But I don't understand Why is there how a random our ancestors flat spot here? can survive here. They were so fragile. Imagine getting stuck out here in the cold. I wonder if there are wolves. It's kind of a miracle biological humans lasted as long as they did. Uh-huh. Okay. Back to it. Walking sim. It's like a walking sim plus a... Uh... Oh, there's the golden gates. I... Why do I have one blue there. Are all of these golden gates interconnected is the question. So for example, did if I if I solved the puzzle in one of the other levels of finding the secret thing to shoot a laser at. Is that why that blue one there is lit up? I don't know. Anyway, seven's this way. 
Oh my god, that is a long walk. Is seven up or down? Okay, seven was up. Red shift. Hello, friend. It goes up, so I'm guessing there's gotta be some kind of. Yep. Is there a platform somewhere then? platform. Can I stand on top of you anyways? Oh, there's the platform. All right. <laughs> RGB shifter here somewhere? Oh, there's the red. So I need to do the same thing. It's like I can walk around, close myself in there, but I can't reconnect it to the red ones from here. Unless... Unless... Okay, so I come back in here, take control, and walk this way. Yeah. Just don't be dumb like, like I just was there. I need to be over here. There we go. extremely convoluted no not really it was actually kind of straightforward it's just I had to remember that you could connect all of them together and only what's visible connects okay which way we came from this way and I want to see what's on this long winding path down here better be something good Now it's definitely a walking simulator. Now it's extremely a walking simulator. <laughs> Ooh. There's ice in the water. That's cool. That one was a neat puzzle. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh. Oh, hi. There's not a path anymore. But there are lights. What might you be, since it's such a long, long walk. It's an old saying about how, in the end, the sea will claim everything. I have no doubt that this is true. In the long history of the human species, entire regions have disappeared under the waves. Places like Beringia and Doggerland still echo in our cultural memories. But we shouldn't forget that life began in the sea. We are the children of the sea. Sure. And it's not through floods and ruin that the sea will claim everything, but through us. True. All right. What do we got here? Trevor. God, I love Trevor. <laughs> uh, 
Chernovsky. Again, you can pause to read this if you would like. Same thing with this one. And these are hexadecimal if you want to convert those. I will come back and read these later on between streams so that I get the backstory. But let's listen to Trevor. Now I have to talk science fiction for a bit because I love science fiction, but it drives me nuts. There's this cliche that shows up over and over and every time someone uses it, everyone pretends it's really profound. It goes something like this. A scientist invents something good, but, uh. oh no, it's actually really bad. You could have something that makes your life better, but no, you can't. How dare you even want it? That's hubris. That's playing God. And it's never anything that reflects the real world, right? It's never, oh no, you invented a vaccine for cervical cancer. Oh no, you invented a new class of antibiotics. Oh no, you cured malaria. How dare you? Those diseased mosquitoes are way more important than human lives. How did science fiction become so reactionary? You know, if we all thought this way, you guys wouldn't even exist. At least Alex agrees with me. She has good taste. See, you see why I love Trevor, right? Snarky bastard. Insightful, though. I'm just going to get lost in the snow again. Now the long trek back. All right, now where's number eight? That way. Ooh, here's the lab. This one's blue this time. Generator. Nothing good? All right, cool. Let's see what the lab says. This one's deeper. Oh, Lord. Lux V5. Quentin. To Athena. Dear Founder, I never got to know you. People all these... People tell all these stories about you, and I don't know what to believe. Some people say ask Cornelius. Others say Cornelius is too blinded by grief. Some say Byron stands for the truth. Others say he's a fanatic and a radical. We should listen to the mayor. There doesn't seem to be a way of getting a straight answer. Feel free to translate this from hexadecimal. Uh, why did you abandon us to this chaos? Why can't you just come back and sort it out? If you're reading these messages, don't you care? Quentin. Pro from Rodam Rodan Rodan Dan to Athena. Dear Founder, thank you for everything you did for us. I'm grateful for the life that I have, which I would not exist without you. I hope wherever you are now you are at peace. Probably not. This is the what did it say? Nema Project five. New labs established to avoid interference. First successful duplication of advanced machinery. So these are duplicates and not even, like, new robots. Again, feel free to translate this hexadecimal. This looks like it has something to do with energy generation. Mm. Am I reading this right? There's a new one. And this looks like a data center. The shutdown? I am not going to read all that. Ground Zero. Where is that? Again, pause to read. Oh my god, so much reading. Pause to read. From error, though. 
I'll go back and read between stuff. Between streams. Okay. I think that's it. Yep. Oh. It's a big lab. Like, that's bigger than the other ones that have been in. Yeah. Oh, that's the way back up. Okay. Okay, we have a tunnel drilling party. <laughs> Sounds dirty. Okay. So we have one drill. And nothing else around us. What in the world? Okay. I'm supposed to go do this with all remote from here. What do I need from you? I need to stand here. My goal is to get there. What do I need to get in there is the question. Just somebody to stand on that. So I need to get both of these guys through and out. Oh my god. Okay. This just got really complicated. Like, you're behind a blue thing. I can't take control of you. You have to be behind a great. Oh, I know what I need to do with this. Set it closer to that. You can grab it from the other side. Put you there. Grab you. Put you out. Um... Get off the button, sir. Okay. The other one is... Where's the other one? It's there. That's on the... That's on the middle, right? Yes, it is. All right, you lot. Then I have to... Then I still have to get out. Hang on. There's no way to do that with two, right? Or is there? Can I? There's got to be something else that I'm missing. Oh! And then... Hang about. <laughs> Can I hit the thing from here? Yes, I can. But then he's stuck in here. Or no. You know what? I don't even need that. Fuck it. <laughs> Duh. Oh my god. Enter the tower. Oh, you don't have a receiver. It's just a map. A, C, T. Instead of taking the long path around. Ah, there she goes. Oh, hi. 
I wonder what it was like when the ancients were still here. Their world seems so... lively. Not always in a good way. Interesting times are great to read about, but rarely great to experience. That's true. But they left behind so much art and philosophy and religion, and so many strange stories. Is New Jerusalem like that? It was, in the beginning. Anything else here? I don't think so. Through the gate we go. the gods to help humankind, Prometheus was punished by being bound to a rock, there to be eternally tormented. The chains that held him were forged by Hephaestus, blacksmith to the gods. Was Hephaestus right to allow his art to be used in this fashion? Hephaestus only forged the chains. Zeus is who bound Prometheus. <laughs> How about you just cut out the cryptic nonsense and tell me if Athena's here? <laughs> you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one. Who is this Athena you speak of? The human looks a bit like me. Older model, though. Ring any bells? Is it Athena you seek, or yourself? Do you speak crudely Seriously? because you are wise, or because you are a child? I speak crudely because you're being a bitch. There we go. The packing is holding. Solve the puzzles, enter the tower, speak to an entity, turn on the beam. It's like yep. she's appealing to our past, reminding us of where we came from but changing enough elements to make us view our history through a different lens. Or maybe I'm completely missing the point. I don't know. You might have something there. I read about this in a book. It's called Defamiliarization. You could? I think I'm actually impressed. Okay. Oh, now we have a long way back to the thing. All right, next. Flooded Valley it is. You're on your way to an island. Yes, another island. Sorry, Melville. Well, it actually used to be a valley between the mountains, but it's mostly flooded now. That probably happened long before the founder came here, though. Another legacy of our ancestors. Do me a favor, will you? Look for another one of the founder's labs. We can't get back into the mega structure without getting to the third site in the north, but I need more information to make more fixes. Ooh, pretty. This one's a spire instead of a ship shape. Oh, 
Well, they made finding this easy this time. What are you? X and X. There's a square there. The fuck kind of bird is that? Oh, these structures are so pretty. I love that, that sharp architecture. Absorption. Accumulator. How long does it last? Forever? Okay, where's a blue? There's a red. Oh, there's the blue. Oh no. Hang on. I need to accumulate red in order to. Whoops. Ah, that's how you discharge it. We used to explore just like this. A small groups setting out for the horizon, looking for resources, trying Use to make sense way. of the world we've been thrust into, trying to find a way forward. It was a hard time, but I can't deny that it was also exciting. I think it's part of our nature to be wanderers. Our ancestors crossed entire oceans on flimsy wooden boats just to see what else there was. Is it weird to feel nostalgic for a time I never experienced? I just think I could have contributed so much more back then. It's not weird, but it wasn't all sunshine. People died. Yemo, Calvin, Isaac. I know one. They were family to me. Sorry. It didn't mean to reopen old wounds. It's a legitimate point. But I don't think it invalidates the sense of wonder we felt. That's what kept us going. That output's green. So how do I get... all three of those lit at the same time? make this absorb whatever I want. So that could be a green. But then how do I get two blues? Oh, that's clever. That, yeah, that's clever. That That's a good puzzle. You see what I had to do there, right? That is clever. Okay. I'm impressed by the puzzle making here. Three. This way. Crossing. Okay. They're not aligned, so it's not a back and forth thing. I haven't seen a jammer in a while. 
Oh, it's a hard gate. Is it? Yeah, it's a hard gate that comes down. You need All you need to do is get a red there. Okay. All right. Oh. You can't turn that off. It's not removable. Can I jam? I can't. to accumulate it in midair. history here that we can't see the founder must have walked these paths hundreds of times maybe thousands Miranda must have stood right where we're standing uh -huh. this all looks alien to us but it, it must have been familiar to them if this was their home where are they now they must be inside the megastructure waiting they for have us to, to pass the test it's the only thing that makes sense Wellspring. Well, we got a connector. Let's see, the other question is can I see the blue from inside here? Oh, I can. Aha! Right, now that I got an accumulator, how do I get it out of here? Or do I even need to get it out of here? No, I do need to get it out of here. Or no, no I don't, no I don't. Somewhere that I can do both. Yup. Awesome. All right. That one was a bit more complicated. Well done, okay. Keep going. Ooh, this is pretty. Like that design. Balance of forces. I'm eat myself that way just yet. Ah, so there is a way out. Okay.
I see. Wait, but I still have to get out of here. Okay. Nice puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Laser stays connected while it's bouncing through the air. What you looking at? Nothing. All right. Six is this way. Yeah, get that electric guitar in there. Six is behind me. There we go. Reconnaissance. Green emitter. We have somewhere to stand. We have a absorber. Wrapped RGB shifter. We have a blue. my god, it gets more complicated. Holy crap, this one's complicated. We may have to end stream on this one. We'll see. So I need the drill in order to get that. Oh my god. My head's gonna explode. Just drill through the gate. <laughs> okay, that's supposed to be there. I need a green inside of there to do a red. Got it. Two more puzzles in ten minutes? I don't think so. Naldo? What is it now? Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Why do you care that my hand is in the picture? Your hand isn't in the pic picture. It is the picture. I like it. It's very artistic. Let's stay professional, everyone. It's not right to make fun of Melville's comically absurd inability to take decent pictures. She's a hyper-advanced humanoid machine, not a photographer. You'll pay for this, Byron. Okay. That makes a bit more sense. And then there's new social media, apparently. Uh, seven this way. If we get stuck on seven, we'll continue it next stream. I'm guessing seven's up here. Yep. Oh, another one of those. Lovely. Ah. The same solution as last time, right? Yeah, but this one's easier. 
There we go. Elohim must be very proud of you, 1K. Yeah, that that's a rather elegant solution. Okay. The eight is this way. Remember, I don't want to. That's new. You power. Oh, you you just double that gate. I see. Hang him out. Yes, absolutely. Yeet. out there is there <clears throat> do I have to restart this I don't I really don't want to um hey devs I found a way to soft lock this Those last two puzzles weren't that bad. choices we have are renouncing civilization or mindless expansion but that's not the only path forward embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction we are a species of artists and artisans blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes shapes that have meaning with our technology we can take this chaotic world, so full of suffering, and turn it into a work of art. Okay, I'm lost on this one. Hang on. I 
didn't find the lab on this one. Halt, creature of clay. You have taken another step towards the flame. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Or have they brought nothing but strife? <laughs> Lady, I'm a robot. Prometheus has poisoned your mind. Turn away from the flame or you will be bound as he was. direction and three entities you think it would be symmetrically arranged one tower per entity right but we haven't seen prometheus at all no nope. we're built to find patterns maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any one k please investigate the coordinates i'm sending you Miss something. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This is where they must have lived. Athena and Miranda. You know, for a moment, I almost expected to find them here. But the only thing that's still functional is the megastructure. I'm sorry. This must be awfully strange for you being thrown into all this history. But that's why I needed you. Because you're not burdened with all these memories and conflicts and regrets. Weigh on our minds like a nightmare. A nightmare? Our civilization is caught in a loop, 1K. We freed ourselves from the simulation, but now we're trapped again, and it's our own fault. We're afraid of taking responsibility, afraid of growing up. Instead, we make up some capitalized words and build up all these myths around them. Nature, balance, the founder. The goal. We're afraid to face the randomness of the cosmos. But equally afraid to imagine a better world. So we're stuck. I've been trying to find a way out for years. Something. Anything. To get people to understand that we do actually have free will. That building a thriving, expanding civilization doesn't have to involve repeating the mistakes of the past. But I failed. Over and over. And you think what we've discovered here can change things? Yes. Because this is something unexpected. An anomaly. Everything we found on this island challenges who we have become. It shows us that different answers are possible and maybe that can break people out of the loop all we need is a spark maybe that's why she made all this the puzzles the towers a way of jolting us out of our complacency i honestly don't know neither do i 1k but i try to be optimistic <clears throat> now let's see what else we can find here Eyes on 1K stream. Is this thing what I think it is? Blow my fuse box. It sure looks that way. 
Best not touch it until I get there. Or sound advice, but what is it? I think it's a somnodrome. It's a sort of analytics tool for processing mental data that Melampus dreamed up. But all he ever did was sketch out the theory. As far as I'm aware, he never actually built one. Looks like the founder gave it a go. He explained it like I was born yesterday. Well, what we know is that our deeper algorithms are hard to pass. Melampa stipulated that the computational power to interpret them in real time would always be beyond us. But in theory, the Somnodrome would interpret that data and loop it directly to our senses. People were hoping to find answers to the big questions by having a conversation with our own subconscious. If you ask me, it's solipsistic at best, and pseudoscience regardless. That may be. But if the Founder figured it out, then that device could be an extremely important discovery. We should try I would it. advise against it. You may have survived all those data stream overloads, but interface with that thing and you're liable to get bricked. Not to mention <laughs> risking the data we could get from it. Sounds like Fine. a plan. Melville, I'm shutting this thing down until you can get here. One key, get on with exploring the rest of the lab. Damn. Omnidrome prototype. Maleficus believed that the answers were looking for the correct way for the individual to exist ethically in society and the world are within us. Our failure to him was not failing to create a better system, but failing to truthfully reflect what already exists within our minds. A failure of connection between the high and low, the inner and the outer. On most days, it seems wrong to me. Sometimes when I think there of where New Jerusalem is headed, I wonder if the Somnodrome doesn't hold an, an answer after all. I, look, I took some time to build a prototype according to the original blueprints. blueprints. Can't talk. There's a lot Olympus didn't account for. Still, I'm almost certain I could apply some of my own knowledge and make it work. Question is, should I? Probably not. Ah, I miss not. Hello, what's this thing? It's a teleporter. Another old. Singularity sustained itself longer this time. Did we get the data? We did. I think we just obsoleted quantum physics. Maybe. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to be able to replicate these results. You know, I've been wondering. You told me that in the simulation, one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers. Do you think that with the work we're doing, we'll ever run out of questions to ask? I don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, another set of hows. Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. So, now what? Now you ask why? Isn't that the next step? Hmm, it's not quite that easy. The question of why cannot be answered. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. At some point, you have to accept that it all just... exists. But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery. You've laid bare the machinery. Now you have to start building to add your own layers 
of meaning. Okay. Are you okay? You overloaded again. Fine as I think. Yes, again. I saw. It came through on your stream. Strange to hear her voice again. But that was her. The way I remember her. The real Athena. Not this imaginary founder. How well do you know her? I'd like to think I knew her well. There was just a handful of us in those days. Small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard. Harder than anyone else can possibly imagine. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan and the Institute had left us. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. How close we came to not making it. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us in the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the Earth, to reach for the stars, to build and grow and learn. Why isn't she remembered that way? The city was already changing before she left, turning inwards, forgetting the future. Once she was gone, other people shaped her memory, turned her into the symbol they needed. I understand all that, as depressing as it may be. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. If she came here to do all this, why didn't she bring me along? Did what she thought she had to, or I'm sorry, it must have been hard to lose your mentor. Yeah, we'll do that it one. was. But maybe I was wrong. And she isn't as lost as I thought she was. If this is all the test, maybe the answer is waiting for us in the megastructure. It's Speaking always the of which, let's get back to exploring. Melville should have reconnected the next station by now. Okay. Lost marshes. Computer's lagging a bit. I wonder why. This area looks flooded as well. Our ancestors melted a whole lot of ice. After they this died, like most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. We went there once with Garrus when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the founder created the goal. When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. This okay. isn't revenge, Al. It's just failure. People, cities, mountains, as far as the sea is concerned, it's all the same. Their mistake was forgetting that, telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. Substitution. Right, so I can't go up through that. Hello. Bring an item to swap. Oh, so you have to have something on that platform.
I need to be up there with the uh, box. How do I do that? Or, no, I just do that. That's what I do. Nice. I've had a closer look at the Somnodrome. It's based on the original prototype with some modifications. As usual, the data is a mess, but I strongly suspect there might be a functional version somewhere. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal. But please remember, Something that is sensei. not our main priority here. Keep an eye open for it, but focus on finding Athena. Uh, from selected archive documents A through C. Coal mine. Oh. Humans in a coal mine. Again, I'm more interested in the main story. I don't want to stray too far. But well, that's out and wide open, huh? Yeah, there's nothing else around here, so let's get into the puzzle. Possibilities. Can I take you? No. There's an accumulator. Is there an, oh, there is an emitter. Or can it shoot from? I don't think it can. complicates things. So you're already connected. Oh, there's two swappers. You can't jam through a wall or through there. So... Hey, Dana. This is, yeah, that was significantly easier than I thought it'd be. Just a structure with a hand thing. You may wonder why I insist on these unsanctioned, unplanned expeditions. Some think it is because I hate civilization and prefer to lose myself in nature. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. It is because I love New Jerusalem that I have to leave, because it is only when I am here that I fully appreciate what the city means, and also because I believe that if I stayed at home, I would one day be ethically compelled to commit acts of violence against those who, <laughs> in their arrogance, imagine that humans should live in harmony with the chaos that surrounds us. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Dear 
got stuck for a second. <laughs> Hi, friend. Why such a huge building for this one? Prison. Well, that explains it. So I have two relays, three boxes. Right now I need to get a blue in here. And how do I do that? Oh, I could open this with a blue. Start this one. Okay, bring this inside. This guy. I think that's the total answer there. Wandering around these landscapes, solving puzzles, in a way, 1K's experience must be very similar to Athena's in the simulation. There's one difference, though. Athena was alone. True. Nice. Okay, I've been redoing puzzles three, four times. I need three pieces of equipment out, and I only have four. I, have, I can't swap back and forth enough to do this the way I thought I was going to have to do it. There's nothing else to pick up. There we go. overloads haven't damaged your logic circuits. Six is this way. Oh, it's a swamp. 
There's a blue. Okay, so the... platform must be for something. I can see both emitters. Why? But I have to get a loop there. And you can't shoot this from that. It has to be like over here. Alright. I'm gonna call it. I am too tired to think of the solution for this. I'm going to use Prometheus Tunnel for the first time in this playthrough. So I have one token. I often think about how many cities there are out there under the ocean. Cities where people lived for thousands of years. Cities with their own history, their own culture. All of it lost under the waves. If they'd been less greedy, they could have kept all that. I don't think we can pass moral judgment on an entire species based on the decisions of a handful of leaders. But I do think they made a mistake. They stopped caring about what they built. They stop seeing the romance of civilization. Propulsion. So the switch to turn off the field is inside the thing. change that blue to a red somehow. Sadly, 
need to lurk. Oh. I can take that with and go up and over. something to swap with. Ah, damn it. This one, dude. Hey. actually nature in this one, where the previous one didn't really have a lot. It had the cat. I think it had some birds. But the, the second one of transmission. Hello. Oh, no. Okay. It's a thing there. Where do you go? On top. The jammer. And bring the jammer down. I'm confused on this one. So somehow I need to get that thing down here. Wait, I need to be on the next one. Down, I think. Oh, balls. All right. Um... So I don't need the jammer anymore, right? I could, in theory, bring the jammer up there. Then I need something else to go there. God damn it. I'm going to restart this. Hang on. Oh my god. And you can't jam it and then put it and swap it. Is... You can't s set the jammer and it be on here at the same time. should have gone back up there and crap I'm getting one more piece at a time one more piece at a time okay all right okay we can do this holy shit okay and I just need to have you stand here you take this, put that, connect that. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even get my brain to think like that. I can barely get my brain to think like that. Whoa! Hey! That legitimately scared me. <laughs> uh. 
All right. Uh. Oh, that's part of the music. Okay, let's go back to the gate. Now the fun begins. fear and despair, and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx, and who bound me in the... Alright, Promethe butt. Well done, 1K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The megastructure is opening again. Everyone come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. <laughs> Just keep your eyes open. They fell. I got too cocky about where I was going. Get in. Uh, back to the megastructure. I didn't find the lab on this one. There's something I've been thinking about. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? The collapse of the Rakovsky building. The Calvin Street explosion. The derailment that almost killed Benaroya and Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. It will happen again either way. With how little we have to work with, it's only a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing. Right flash. Got some light artifacting there. I love flying in this thing, it's so cool. All right, here we go again. Our main like, objective is to determine the relationship animals. between the megastructure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore. Dig up anything you can. We need to start finding answers. I can't really? imagine one person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. There were at least two of them. I can't imagine a hundred people building this. 
true. All right, everyone. Have a look around, but stay in touch and be careful. 1K, can you stay a moment? I'd like to talk to you. I know you can't wait to start exploring, but just here. Audio freak. Yeah, I'm concerned. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about is the possibility of finding Athena. She was his mentor, and her disappearance shattered him. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers of the megastructure. To me, this place seems chaotic, dysfunctional. Yes, it's all very impressive, but I think it's broken. And what we're seeing is, uh, it's nonsense, frankly. You've interacted with it more than anyone. What do you think? I think all of it's intentional. We're meant to do something here. It's, it's somewhat broken, but underneath it seems to be some kind of pattern. You're right, it seems pretty broken. I don't have enough data to judge. I feel like this is intentional, like we're supposed to be here. So you see it that way too, huh? Well, maybe I'm wrong. I hope so. But please, be careful. I'm just going by what I've seen, man. Where are we going? Oh, inside. Got it. Do I have to go do some of those mega puzzles now? Ooh, pretty. I'm headed deeper into the mega structure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machinery. Please, watch yourself, Byron. This is incredible. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. I don't think this is a building. I think this is a machine. For override. Uh oh. Here we go again. Why didn't you just tell people that they're wrong? If you tell them the truth, they'll listen. It's not that simple. Straton wrote that the most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality, when in fact the opposite is true. Ideas follow from material conditions. Belief systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. We believed in the mandate of heaven because we lived in monarchies. But we have free will. Oh, free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. We're not free from the constraints of reality or history. I was shaped by the simulation. New Jerusalem is shaped by its limitations. So what? We're just trapped? History can only go one way? Maybe, maybe not. The question is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world where our ideas do shape reality? That's why we came here. Yeah, I can get that. Love that effect, by the way. I knew it! Athena's here. She built this. That other voice. Was that Cornelius? It definitely sounded like him. Come to think of it, he went on a research expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he died. And all this time, he knew where she was? We should talk to him. We will, when we get back. But right now, we have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. Why? I can't zoom in on you. But there, there's... There's a thing down there. Are those surfaces magnetic? No, nope. it's anti-gravity. Yakut was right. I should have known. Wait, so where am I supposed to go? Can 
I attach it the other way? Then it stays. All right. Same pattern as before. Three beams, three receivers. I guess we know what to do. Be careful. The sheer amount of power running through this place. I'll take care of this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? Sure. This is kind of fun. Maybe Alexandra Drenham, Melville. Is there anything in the system that could tell us where Athena is? I don't know. Someone's logged into the system. But when I try to act... Oh, got it. It's skipping a lot of dialogue. I don't like that. God, more of these. Excuse me. Hang on. Okay, then how do we get up there? Oh, I can't jump. Interesting. I can't take that piece unless I'm on it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Making that puzzle three-dimensional really, uh, had my brain going. You just open that. I don't know where that goes. Probably to the end. And you're an accumulator. Can you hit it from this? You can. That's two down. How the hell do I get out of here? This must be the final part. Hello. So how do I get to green then? Oh, too many places to go. ground is shaking. According to the system, whole parts of the interior are moving around. Like it's rearranging itself. I think that's what happened last time. When I took the elevator, the platform where I got out just moved away. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I have to find my way all the way back.
Hang on, it's gonna be a long trek. I don't know if I like if I hate the anti-gravity walls more than the uh, swamp pedestals. Like, how complicated are we gonna get this? Because I'm only halfway through the damn game. This is fascinating. They were both here, Athena and Cornelius. They had a plan. I found a file that... Oh, uh, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't... I, 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 uh... Byron's trapped in the overload. He's failing to disconnect. The whole system's going haywire. 1K, get out of there. Everyone back to the VTOL. Prometheus battle back through. We have to go. Now, 1K, get moving. We can't just leave Byron behind. Yeah, Coop, we have no idea where he is or what's happening to him. But right now, if we stay here, we could all die. The system's going completely bananas. Energy spikes everywhere. We'll come back for Byron, I promise. What have you done, you fools? Mortals are not meant to tread these halls. Why will you not heed my warnings? I am not Pandora. trying to harm you, creatures of clay. All I wish is to protect you and the rest of your kind. What more must I do to make you understand? If you cannot be reasoned with, I must bar your path. are messing with the VTOL systems. Okay, I think I've got it working. Get here quickly, 1K. I wish it was better about waypoints. Get us out of here, Yakut. Dude, that was a long ass run. <laughs> okay, we're out. Now what? Looks like the southern sites are active. The readings are strangely jumbled, though. Should I set us down? Yes, but just to drop off Melville. What? We're going back to New Jerusalem. The situation has gotten out of control. We need to regroup. Rushing in blindly isn't going to save Byron. But we also need someone to stay here and keep an eye on things. Melville, that's you. All right. I'll see if I can make any sense of these systems while you're gone. Just keep a safe distance, okay? Will do. Good. Well, 1K, I guess it's time for you and me to take a nap. Nice. Oh, Do not to to lose hope, again. my child. In these difficult moments, Find solace in your friends and in the home that you share. Here we are. Got an update from Melville. The power spikes are continuing, but no news from Byron. All right. Thank you, Yakut. 
You get the VTOL ready for the next trip. I'll talk to the mayor. 1K, please head over to the Museum of the Simulation and talk to Cornelius. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Okay. The world is full of suffering. Every living organism suffers. Animals kill other animals to eat. And it always ends with death, torn apart or wasting away. This is what surrounds us. This is what's happening outside those walls every hour of every day. It's our ethical responsibility as sentient beings to lessen suffering. That's what it means to be human, to understand that it is your duty to transform this world into something better. That's what the founder meant when she said that we can turn the world into a work of art. Despite what happened to him, Byron was right. We have to keep going. This is blasphemy. Byron was punished for failing the Founder's trials. And you want us to dig deeper? Just because you can't accept that suffering is natural and necessary? Please, everyone, stop using the public frequency. If you want to argue, use your <laughs> interface or speak in person. Thank you. Good luck. That's one thing that I'm fighting right now is my mom and stepmom. I have found to be with you. A thread. Founder, bless you. Of text May messages. The founder be with Attention, all citizens. The Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open to visitors. However, please note that due to an unauthorized strike, public transport will be temporarily unavailable. May the founder be with you. Anyway, my. Mom and stepmom, or not stepmom, mom and mother in law are both on the same text message thread. So, if like they're older, so they don't understand to go to a different chat or a different text message, like personal one to do stuff personally, so they'll share things in that shared thread that's just not supposed to be there. Tell them, just text me directly, oh, please. 1K. What are you doing here? Looking for Cornelius. Ah, I assume it has something to do with your expedition? I must admit I haven't been following the news. Sorry, been a little lost lately. You okay? Uh, no, not really. When you asked me what I would do now that my job is redundant, I... I don't know, I guess I hadn't thought about it. I had just focused on getting there. And after you left, it all just... rushed over me. Fell apart. The truth is, I don't know who I am without this. Creating new life. Guiding people into existence. That's who I am. More importantly, I think... I think that's who I want to be. And if we stop growing, that's the one thing I can't be anymore. That's why I wanted to talk to Cornelius. He was there at the beginning. He knows where we came from. I thought he might help me understand where I could go next. You can find a new colony, I'm sure of it. I hope you're right. It's hard to imagine right now. I liked who I was. Now, you said you were looking for Cornelius? Seems to have been at the megastructure with us. Oh, that's... Uh, well, I suppose it shouldn't really come as a surprise. They were very close, you know. After she disappeared, he went away for a long time. On a research expedition, he said. To be honest, Everyone assumed he was working out his grief over being left behind. Many of the first companions were deeply shocked by her decision, particularly Byron. Where is he now? That's the thing. I wanted to talk to him about my future, but he wasn't responding to my messages. So I came here to talk to him and <laughs> he seems to have vanished. Any idea where he might have gone? No. 
The truth is that for the longest time, he barely left the museum. He was always at his terminal, working day and night. I asked him what he was doing once, and he said he was saving the past. Hmm. You check his house? I did, on my way here. And I messaged most of his other friends. He doesn't seem to be anywhere in the city at all. Can I access his terminal? I suppose so. It seems a little unethical, but then it is just his work terminal, right? Good luck with everything, 1K. And thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Uh, lab location accessible, deliberate, unclear. User profile, yes. Gold puzzles as a barrier, yes. Hidden as self-protection, likely. External help for upload, yes. Ask Her Herman, no. Trust 1K, undecided. Applicable to Calvin, no. Applicable to Sarabali, no. With Nima, yes. Okay. So... Lab location inaccessible, deliberate, unclear. Gold puzzles as barrier. So this is what Cornelius was working on? Strange. It looks a bit like the blueprints for the Somnodrome, but no, it's not quite that. Is he trying to isolate something in the buffer? Maybe Melville can make sense of it, but I think this might be a dead end. I need to finish up with the mayor. You can head back to the VTOL whenever you're ready. I'll meet you there. No rush, though. No rush, though. <laughs> Are these the cats? Of the devs? Oh, you can pet the cat. That's it. That... 10 out of 10 game. Doesn't matter anything I said beforehand. You can pet the cat. That's, that is top-notch gameplay. That's cool. It's like the developer's cats or something. Milton's Rest. Welcome back! We must listen to the wisdom of the ancient writers, or we will fail the Founder's trial. The megastructure must be rejected. Oh, it was you talking. That's interesting. What can I do for you, 1K? What do you think about the technologies we discovered? They all sound very promising, of course. Apparently, it's possible to just magic things into existence now. But what is the cost, 1K? There's always a cost. I agree. We can't just leave one of our most important citizens in that death trap. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Okay, let's go. I only have about a half Where hour the mayor stream, say? so... I convinced him that we need to keep going until we found Byron. Did he want us to leave him behind? No, he's just concerned for our safety. And he's right to be. But we're going back anyway. Great trials lie ahead of you, my child, but your choices will determine the future. Okay. Melville, are you receiving? Yep. Welcome back to the mysterious island, everyone. How's the situation? Whatever Byron did seems to have sent the whole system into some kind of lockdown. 
I can't access any of the terminals, although I suspect one k still could. Why would that be the case? When one k connected to the data stream, the system assigned him a user profile. The rest of us are locked out, which means I'll need your help, one k because a lot of stuff doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Check it out and see what you can fix. But please remember, what matters most is finding Byron. Crystal clear. <clears throat> We have these three, then those three. We're going to get started on this one, and if we don't complete it, then we'll move on. In stream. 1K, I'm sending you a little software upgrade I put together that should allow you to detect which files will lead to a data stream overload. Unfortunately, I'm not doing this to help you avoid them. In fact, I'm going to need you to search for more. I'm sorry about that. But if we're going to unlock all the systems that aren't responding, you'll have to connect to the data stream. Possibly more than once. It's the only way for me to get access. Ooh. Grand Canyon, anyone? This structure's cool looking, like wings. All right, one Kate. In this area, there seems to be a problem with the the machine that makes the tetromino bridges. That means you can solve the puzzles, but you can't activate the tower. Look for a lab that lets you connect to the data stream. I already found it. I'll send you the coordinates. Oh, nice. Is it? Is it below me? It is. So now that I have this, can I go back to the other ones to find the other labs? Look at this place. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mesmerizing. That's how it lures you in, I think. You see all these beautiful things and your imagination starts working overtime. And then the puzzles, the towers, the mysterious apparitions, it all draws you further in, deeper into the trap. What if that's the whole point of this place? What if every time you have one of those visions, another little bit of you is corrupted? Overwritten with the hubris of this place. Sure. I haven't been corrupted. Let's not be superstitious or I'm wary of this place too, but my mind is my own. Yeah, we'll go that way. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to suggest you were... Uh, whatever it is I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just disappointed in myself. Byron needs me. You all need me to do my job, and I can't even use a terminal. If this is all really the work of the Founder, I don't know, maybe she lost her way. Or maybe, maybe we're just not way. ready. But once we find Byron, I suggest we get the hell out of here and never come back. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Gravity. This terminal. It showed a bunch of stuff ignored. Oh dear God, I wish I could copy and paste. <laughs> Error 5358. I paused to read. Oh my God. Holy shit. There's a pattern underneath new primary site. Lake water for cooling. Air 
ancestors kept telling themselves that the brevity of their lives didn't matter. But they had so little time to ever really think about anything. I've spent several human lifetimes studying this mystery, and only now am I beginning to see. The simulation was built on top of material reality, unable to escape its constraints. In the same way, physics as we understand it, even quantum physics, is built on top of a deeper reality. A set of rules that define existence itself. There is a universal language of creation, and I think we can learn it. Okay. The language of creation. What were they doing here? And how Everything. far did they get? I can't answer that, but I think I'll fix the Tetromino bridge machine ring thing. I say I think because it's not in the schematics. And what I'm doing is hack work at best. Try it and see if it works. Again, pause the read if you're on YouTube. It's a cool little lounge. Oh, a guitar with no strings. Oh, there's strings. Uh, is that a Roomba? A Roomba that died. Nice. A uh, phase entry? So this is one of the ones that we encountered on the uh, the demo. Okay. Oh, I see. I somehow need to bring that over here. another file from Oops. the data stream listen to this mother and father think of our discoveries as a language a code but i think they're wrong they're so caught up in the technical details of running the experiments and upgrading the machine that they're not paying attention to the patterns we're finding to the symmetries the harmonies the melodies the fundamental language of reality is a kind of music and it's beautiful beauty is an inherent property of the cosmos i love the way she looks at things oh right i need to get a blue there Teleport, but you can't drop through the bars, which is dumb.
Do I need to teleport in here? Or out there? Can't reach the teleport from there. So I don't need the teleport in here just yet. Ah, stop it. I do need it here so that I can pull that out. Yep, this is another one of those that we did in uh, the demo. I remember now. Okay. Out here. Now let's restart this one real quick. Wait. Somehow I need to get all three of these in the same room. I need to end up with that one on the other side of the wall. Hang on, restarting one more time. at one point. I don't remember now. Uh, so the only thing I could do right now is that. There's a box. Oh, I remember this. used one of these things to get through it last time, and I don't have... I have no tokens. So I have to actually figure this out. So uh, somehow... I have to get all three of these inside. But... can't teleport through a wall. So say I take this, I can't teleport to that. Hmm. I somehow have to get both of these in that room. Puzzle mechanic. A couple of oh, years yeah. back, we went on a scavenging expedition to an ancient industrial complex south of New Jerusalem. It was enormous, sprawling, an area many times bigger than our whole city, just dedicated to manufacturing. It was incredible to think about the sheer variety of things they produced. And it made me realize how austere, how restricted our lives are. You know how most ancient structures are overgrown? It's kind of pretty, but in a sad way? Well, this one wasn't. There had been some kind of chemical spill. I don't know if it happened while the structure was still operational, or if something had just rotted through. 
but it killed everything. Even centuries later, nothing could grow. It didn't have to happen that way, and history doesn't have to repeat itself. But we do have to remember that it did happen once. So my my favorite pu new puzzle mechanic in this game so far is the color changing laser aspect where you combine colors and split colors and move colors around to get new colors or have to combine certain ones to get certain ones and stuff like that. I love that. Um, and the swapping bodies thing is a close second. My least favorite, the one that I hate with a passion, is the one where you have to switch out one piece of equipment for another on a pedestal. It's dumb, it overcomplicates things, I understand it's part of the puzzle, but it sucks. see I'm not gonna read all this that's a lot to read but you guys if you're on YouTube you can pause to read it problem solving again this is really long I've gone back and reread all the stuff that I missed previously so I'm kind of up to date on the story from Hypatia's journal volume 1 the founding of New Jerusalem day 372 uh, Yimo died today. One moment he was there, welding a joint on the upper levels of the tower, and the next he was gone. One careless step is all it took. Athena brought him to the dam, but even Cornelius couldn't help. Yimo is gone. Now there's only 12 of us. This is a design for an improved charging station. Fascinating, but not relevant. Oh, this is five. D Y A D A. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. You're a jammer, and the only thing you're jamming is that. Teleport, I can teleport out of here with this, but then I still have to jam that. Mm, okay, can I cheat the system? Nope. And can I jam from here? these in there. Balls. Okay. Oh, what? Do you have a favorite character in the game yet so far? Um, no, not really. Translocator.
that's an interesting mechanic. You can teleport through faster than the door can close. super complicated one, so let's not do this right now. Ah, pretty. I love a spiral staircase. Remote interchange. So the entrance is here. What's the trigger? swap tables so much. Five head puzzles per anyway. <laughs> These swap tables that pisses me off so much. It overcomplicates things. I'm trying to figure out what this puzzle wants. If I were to open. continue to be exactly the same. That's pretty good. This place has a camera mode too. God, that's pretty. It's working twice as fast now, and I think I can increase matter output by 25% if I tweak the modulator a little. I'm so excited! Nice to meet you, so excited. I'm Cornelius. What? Oh, Dad! This is science! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for the right moment. Fucking dad jokes, man. 
the switcheroo. nowhere up here you can put it and it stay connected. Balls. There's no distance away that is accessible that can see the center of that. It has to be something with this. There has to be a process that I'm missing. Found a thing but I don't get it? Yeah, I get it. <laughs>
Welcome back, creature of clay. The forge burns bright, but the sky is troubled with clouds. A mortal has ascended Olympus without the permission of Zeus. Tell me where Byron is. The workings of Olympus are disrupted by the trespasser. Pandora, fearing the wrath of the gods, has broken the paths to ascension. What about Byron? I need an answer. Prometheus is the friend of mortals who would challenge Olympus. But he is bound in the heart of the mountain, and few could break his chains. Sure. safe to assume that Olympus is the entity's term for the megastructure. It looks like our best chance of rescuing Byron is finding Prometheus and freeing him. How do you free a weird glowing ghost thing? I suspect these entities exist within the megastructure systems. And what we're seeing is just how they manifest to communicate with us. I don't really Makes care sense. what they are. For now, let's play along. Okay. There we go. All right. South two. You know, I always kind of resented Byron for being so charming and charismatic. The dashing explorer. And one of the first companions, too. Being the voice of caution is not a fun role to play. Always having to be the responsible one, the killjoy. The one who says, maybe that's too much. But sometimes, it is too much. It's not your fault, Al. not going to finish this whole one tonight either. In this area, we have an especially weird problem. Something in one of the labs is going completely bananas and I can't shut it down because I'm not, well, you. Come find me when you're ready. What is it with the language libraries and bananas? This lab, there's a machine. As usual, I have no idea what it is. Some sort of generator, if I had to guess. When Byron got stuck in the system, it went haywire. It's currently outputting enough energy to power all of New Jerusalem twice. Oof. As you can imagine, that's causing quite a bit of interference. Uh -huh. What do we do? You go in there and you switch it off. Shouldn't be hard. energy flow manager I am not gonna end up. I wish there was a way to copy and paste this because this is just plain hex code cannot load profile settings more hex code more hex code I, god I wish you could Highlight, select. Oh, dear God. More of it.
warning, output max perimeter exceeds safety protocol. Can I just output max, automatic shutdown. Unknown user. Those are short enough where I can put it in. The first line is, I do not answer to you. Him's creature of clay is the second one. Initiate emergency such on. Access denied. Unknown script ATHN. I'm going to translate those next two lines. One sec. The first line is, you do not... You have no dominion over... Sorry. And then... Creature of clay is the next one. Unknown script ATHN detected load. Let's retry. Access denied. Same code. Load it. <sighs> Anthropogeny, a text adventure. Sure. You wake up in an impossible place knowing nothing. Look around. You seem to be in a labyrinth of ancient crumbling walls. Beneath you is an altar of some kind as if you were a sacrifice. The sky above you is a perfect cobalt blue and you're started by its beauty. Apparently there was a hex code interface program that you can get for 1k early on in the exploration, but the thread doesn't explain how. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Uh, I will look into that then. Uh, examine the altar. Altar is a place of birth and death. You sense that blood was spilled here. Lives are given for life to be gained. This is how all things came into existence, but is it how all things must continue? You have gained knowledge, sacrifice. Cold wind blows through the ruins, and you know without knowing how that is the wind from the kingdom of Artemis. It is the wind that brings with it whispers of mountains glimpsed across the stormy seas and deep forests wreathed in fog, the long forgotten cities of your ancestors explored the labyrinth. You set out into the ruins, apprehensive but curious. There's a strange kind of beauty here, beauty of decay. You must be careful not to imbibe too much of it. Suddenly, an echoing voice speaks to you. Emergency shutdown settings access denied. It intones error. 1C, whatever. Take it with a grain of salt. I got it from Reddit. Okay. setting sun night is falling now you can see the lights of distant fires on the slopes of Olympus but you're not ready to ascend you want only once you have found all three sigils with a path of divine flame be open path leads to the south to the buried city another leads north to the garden of Herspides go to the buried city City lies to the south of one's place. Greece, wisdom, philosophers, old, strolled in its walkways, debating the nature of virtue of its soul. Now, now the sands of the desert have claimed its streets, and even its famed temple upon a hill is slowly eroding. Search the ruins. Uh, as you walk through the lost avenues of the buried city, looking for a sigil, you come across a strange sight. Procession of ghostly figures, echoes of forgotten past, or an unimaginable future trapped in a moment of celebration. They're smiling, happy, at peace with the world. 
How do they make you feel? Happy. Ghosts did not frighten you and decide they're not echoes of the past, but signs of the future yet to come. Walking amongst the ghosts, you come across a fragment bearing a sigil of an owl. Reach down and take it, and as you do, blah, 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 gain a sigil. Journey to the garden. Uh, journey is interrupted by a frightful burned figure standing alone in the sands of the desert. Ooh, fight or flee. Fight it. Warning out, but Max succeeds. Max is denied. Nymphs lead you to place a crown of brass trees. Seem to go together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of the chamber grows a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon its trees grows a single golden apple. Ask the nymphs about the apple. Uh oh, my daughter's waking up. I may have to end this. Sigil, Journey to Olympus. No, you might not, must not do this. Pandora commands you. I've stopped you for a reason. Complete your quest to ascend Olympus. Everything will burn. Point out that Pandora is destabilizing. You speak the truth, creature of Clea, even I cannot use the flame wisely. Access granted. The flame is not yours to wield, creature of clay. Touch it, and you will burn. Is that? It's something new. I don't like it. How do I get in? A teleport? It me? Oh! I found you. Now I can skip the thing if I wanted to. But like... There has to be a way to do this without a skip, right? Mountaineer. Mountaineer. What does Mountaineer mean? Oh! I totally forgot about that whole wall thing. That's stupid. Yellow. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do some of this upside down. Space, space to disengage from gravity surface. Ah, uh, grav shifter? I wasn't taught this. I didn't get basic training. Why is this a thing? Okay. Oh, that's what it do.
need to shift the grav back. Did it do the thing? It did do the thing. Okay, that's what the grav shifter does. I get it now. I didn't even get a good look if at the If the language of creation is a kind of melody, maybe that's why we respond to music the way we do. Because we recognize something that can't be expressed in any other way. And when we play music, we participate in something ancient, in an, in an act of creation. Is that supposed to be a, a clue? All right, where's number two then? What are you? It's ruins, maybe? I'm not gonna walk in the water to find out. Hi. Come on, out with it. What's the problem? I know you're very busy, but you need to pay more attention to what's happening. Everything's slowing down. People are losing track of the bigger picture. They're still traumatized by New Alexandria. It's more than that. When I organized the last expedition, I had real trouble finding volunteers. There's no enthusiasm for the outside world anymore. They want to look away from history, pretend there's no past and no future. I'm really worried, Athena. Okay. I promise I'll look into it as soon as I'm done with this. Okay. Spoother wind. Okay, so I can shift something to that. Shift me to that, maybe? I can't take that. This there and place it here. Yes. Because that makes perfect sense. Special again. Question block. Do you have like a hint or something on you? No, this is the receiver, not the hint. I have to hit that with something. Upward migration. 
Corporation. Oh, here's a relay. There's the end. I need to get from... There's a crab thing. I need to get from that. To that. Probably up there. Okay, I see. So I have to have these pre-connected, right? Does that not work? That should work. It's like super close. see what it did. top of there, I probably can see that from some other vantage point to connect it to the other thing. My page on Twitch keeps glitching out. So these monuments represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value of sense. There's the golden gate. Can't 
jump across that. Oh, I didn't notice it was just floating there. Alrighty. Eat. Pours right ahead. Oh, I feel like this one's going to suck. Lateral thinking. something here. I can bring that in with me, so I have to get something out of that maze first. There's a box. Side of here is right there, but you have to have another one. it right here. I thought I had to put her on the... Duh. There. Still dumb. You're only halfway there. I've known Byron since day one. I was the first to be born with upgrades from the original Soma design, and he was the first to volunteer to upgrade his Soma existing body. Design. Yeah, he was a big supporter of upgrades. Deliberate evolution, he called it. Athena and Cornelius were very kind to me, and so was Byron, but he also made fun of me. And oddly enough, that made me feel more like an equal than anything the others said. For the first time, I synthesized life. It was just a unicellular cyanobacterium, but the sheer complexity of even such a simple organism is breathtaking. Creating it from pure energy, I was filled with a sense of awe and majesty. A, a sense that what I was doing was sacred. It made me think about the enormous power of life. Two and a half billion years ago, these simple beings terraformed the entire planet, creating the oxygen that underlies the Earth's incredible biodiversity, wiping out thousands of other species, but making the future possible. There's five. An hour in, halfway there. All right. Okay, that activates that. There's that. There's, the only thing to walk on is this.
So do I yeet myself over? I suppose so. Oh, the emitter's over here. Does put a damper on things. That seems like the logical choice. Teleporters, thank you. Okay. I'm hoping that's in line with that. Other side. Okay, what's in there? Oh, I need to bring both of those through somehow. Okay, that's cool. I was not expecting that. Just sucked all of us through. Oh, they censored it. Lovely. Just think people are dumb. Like, relent relentlessly fucking stupid. Absolute fucking morons. Human history is a fucking clown show from the beginning to the end. The average person? Just a slobbering buffoon bumbling through life like a drunk gorilla in a fucking china shop. I like that they uh, censored it. <laughs> Unnecessary, but you know. Founding. Hypatia's Journals, Volume 1, Founding of New Jerusalem. Pause to read. Okay. That's, that's cool and all, but um, we're next. Seven, this way. Blasting through these a little faster than... Previous one. Excuse me, bugs. Bugs. More bugs. Seven. Delivery. Okay, so in order for the fan to be on, I need a, so the, I'm working backwards here. I need a red there is the final. Is that the only grab surface? No, there's this. 
that you can't shoot that from here because there's a gate in the way. So the difficulty just ramped up from mildly difficult to incredibly infuriating. What was the name again? Delivery. Oh god, I hate those swap things. Do I just skip this level? Because I can. I have a thing to skip this. Because I don't have the brain power to do whatever it's wanting me to do. I don't have the brain power to figure out what the hell it wants. It has been a very long and difficult day. It's nearly the end of the week. My brain's not doing a thing. I'm assuming I have to get this there. To do that. I can't shoot here. Unless I have that thing. Oh. I can't use this. Is it detachable? It is. Hang on. So just to get the... box down. That's all just to get the box down. swapping from inside here. Ah, balls. I picked it up the wrong way. Hang on. fire a grav there, and that's the end of the puzzle. I don't need this anymore, do I? Aha! See? Ooh, yeah. Myself. I thought I was going to fail that one. What are those? No idea. Yeah, I was pretty sure I was going to fail that one. Step and release. I need to fire a laser there. Oh, no. 
Uh, would you be mad at me if I skipped this puzzle? I have one skip available. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a skip on this one. Start this one over. There we go. The philosopher Straton of Stagyra had little respect for the gods, and instead placed his faith in Prometheus. Driven by hubris, he asked questions that must not be asked, and revealed secrets that should have remained hidden. It is said that for these offenses, he was put to death by the people of his city. Can you see the folly of his actions? was not his, it was the people who act foolishly. Yet he was the one who broke their laws. Why do you judge them and not him? Because he did not take a life. There we go. You are correct. Close life is sacred above all things, even above the truth. Uh oh, I don't Consider like this out. as you approach the flame. Again. Surprisingly calm, given how aggressive Pandora has been elsewhere. I didn't think she'd even want to talk to you. I've toyed with the idea that the entities might be epiphenomenal in some way. Instead of causing the changes in the system, maybe they just respond to them. Oh, that makes sense. I remember when I was quite young, I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to do. I wanted to see the outside world, but even back then, that wasn't really encouraged. I ran into Byron on Jameson Avenue, completely by accident, and I was too nervous to talk to him. I mean, he was one of the first companions. But he noticed me, and we started talking, and he was really encouraging introduced me to Garrus, and took me along on an expedition to the quarries and the mountains. Whatever flaws he may have, Byron cares about people. He changed my life. Yep, that's Byron in a nutshell. This game has a lot of moral compass kind of uh, discussions whether we should or should not be pursuing scientific things and, uh, 
stuff like that. It's so, here it looks like there should be an anti-gravity elevator, but it's locked down. I'll need you to connect to the data stream again. I'm really sorry, 1K. I know it's a risk, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh-huh. Have you seen Miranda's design for a transport system that would connect all the labs to the machine? It's amazing, isn't it? I think she's really excited about showing this place to people one day. She also kept asking me about what kind of monuments we could build, you know? To really transform the landscape, show the possibilities. But her capsules only fit one person. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to go down there. This is puzzle number one, I guess. Centrifuge. Wait, so does this spin around? Rotate clockwise, rotate. Counterclockwise, clockwise. Oh, God. I have a feeling these are going to take a while. Oh, so they only close when it's moving. I see. Um... So I definitely need a relay on one of the corners. The connector, sorry. RGB converter and inverter. You can't shoot through that. There's nothing else in here. Like no elevated platform, nothing. Am I just dumb? Oh, God. Yeah, pause to read. It's all a joke, isn't it? A giant prank perpetrated on all of us. The goal of the founder is simulation. I don't even think you exist. I don't think biological humans ever existed either. What nonsense. But these messages just go onto the mayor's inbox or straight to the recycling bin. You all suck at Lamau. Tranquilo to Athena. It's more of a patient's journal. This one seems to be something. corrupted. It's almost like something tried to delete it as you were downloading it. Pandora, maybe. Um, sure. What happens if I just run off into the wilderness? She's remarkable, isn't she? She sees so much beauty in everything. She is, you're right. But I'm not sure she doesn't see too much beauty. Is it wrong to be delighted by the perfection of the universe? To look oh. at what surrounds us and experience awe instead of just fear? No, but to call it uh, perfection implies a kind of moral value that it doesn't have. The universe is cold, Athena. It doesn't care about us or about life or civilization. It fundamentally cannot care. But Miranda seems to think it's almost uh, benevolent. 
purposeful. You're right. But have you considered that maybe she sees something we can't see? A step ahead? You know, Cornelius, if we succeed, the next generation will not be like us. They might see the world in ways we never could have imagined. Maybe she's the first sign of that. I hope so. I really do, Athena. You know that I love her, and I am perpetually amazed that this being we created that came solely from our minds is so profoundly different and unique. That does strike me as a kind of miracle. But it's okay. also a huge responsibility. And I worry about our choices. Okay, what is this? Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man, he moved of his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then oh. a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine this contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Uh huh. Dear God, this place is huge. That's number three. I'm looking for the lab. Is there a lab? Can there please be a lab? I want to find the lab before I end stream, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, number two. Let's just do the thing. I think the lab might be below. Choose this way. We may have to do them in order so that we uh, get downstairs. I'm wondering if we have to open something after doing these. Oh, my sinuses are acting up today. The passageway. So how do we... How do we do what we do? Clearly that's step one. I need... Oh. There's a red here. So... The rotating platform is a thing in this. I need to rotate that so they can get through. So there's no way to hit that unless I have another one to double it up then move it. There's that, and there's that. So how do I get how do I get you? Or you? Um I can do this and then rotate it so that it's open. Slightly wrongly placed. Okay, now I have two, and this gets me three. There's nothing else in here. And then, where's the exit? Where's, where's the finish line? Okay, 
Okay, so step one, I need to open this. Entirely too many strange things going on around here. Uh, yep. Somebody blew up the lab. Uh oh, okay. Some gravity stuff. Error. It came to pass in the eleventh year of the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, because that uh, Tyrus hath said against Jerusalem, uh, she is broken, that was the gates of the people. She is turned unto me, I shall replenish, now she is laid waste. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea causeth the waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyrus, and break down their, her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, and make her like the top of a rock. Thou shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea for I have spoken it saith the Lord God and I shall become a spoil to the nations and her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword and they shall know that I am the Lord weird no I, perhaps faith is neither choice nor submission perhaps faith is a demand for our pain to have meaning, for the stories of the world to rhyme, for a world designed by a loving hand, perhaps I will believe with defiance in the forgiveness of all sins, in the kingdom of God on earth, and even the resurrection of the dead. I will believe with clenched fists and gritted teeth, and prayers that refuse to be gentle. Okay. Unauthorized trial at secondary site. Catastrophic failure, she's gone. Ooh. Author Athena. So Athena said somebody else is gone. Okay, where are we this time? It's over. We failed. Everything we thought we were doing. It's all ashes now. I don't think you really believe that. She's gone, Cornelius. She's gone because I failed her. She's gone because the machine that I built killed her. She was perfect. And now, 
She's nothing. I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want her to be perfect, to be blameless. But you didn't kill her, Athena. She killed herself. She killed herself because she was reckless, because she was naive, and frankly, because she was a little arrogant, too. She was reckless because I filled her head with dreams. Dreams of the future, of a better world. A world that nobody wants. No, no, it's not the dreams that killed her. It's that we brought her here. It's that we tried to build all this outside the city. We raised her without people, without society. The wilderness is for prophets, Athena, not for children. We should have stayed, fought for our ideas. It's too late now. It's too late. It's not too late, it's never too late. Oof, that was a doozy. Percentage got up to like 300. What, what wrecked the lab? Hey, bud. They lost their daughter. Right here in this ruin, Cornelius and Athena lost their daughter. Yep. Miranda's dead. So yep. even the founder doesn't have perfect control over this technology. No. Even the founder makes mistakes. Byron was right in a way. We turned the founder into something she never was. She was never perfect. She was never infallible. Mm -hmm. No one is. Listen, I understand why you and Byron see so much hope in this technology. You want us to be better, to grow. But what if it all goes wrong? If even the founder couldn't get it right, what hope do we have? Um... Nothing's forcing us to repeat the mistakes of the past. Okay, but what about new mistakes? What about the problems we failed to predict? I can't even imagine the complexities behind this technology. Yeah, issues come up doesn't mean we give up. We truly understand the major structure will avoid making mistakes. Perhaps the major structure is more threat than opportunity. Not extending our knowledge just means we'll be unprepared for a different set of problems, or it's a worrying possibility, but the risk is necessary. I like the learning one. So there's no safe way to live, just different risks? Yeah. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Sooner or later, even if we do nothing, the universe will throw another extinction event at us. And if yeah. we're not prepared, Maybe life survives, but sentience doesn't. And there's no one left to treasure the beauty and symmetry that Miranda saw. Anyway, Rick. thanks for talking to me. I didn't really have The a truth is, lately, I sometimes feel kind of lost. The yep. universe is vast and threatening. History is depressing, and I need something to hold on to. Something other than fear. I have to figure out what that is. I hope. Best I got for you, dude. If you're gonna hold on to something, either you're junk or hope. Thanks for your other. help, Wonkai. The elevator should be working now. And Yakut. I'm sorry about Miranda. I know you're looking forward to meeting her. Please this way. So this is the receiver then, right? Where's the thing? Oh no, this isn't the receiver. Ah, the big structure. See, there's another one of those. Hang on, nope. Is it literally just a receiver? 
So is there three of them on this? Oh, it's red. So we have to shoot a red at that if there's a place to do it from inside of this dismantling. on the ground here, or do I just go up the lift? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Alright, I guess we go up the lift first. Teleport. What are you? Oh. And you can't jump on it before it goes across. There's no way to come up here with the box. Or, or is there? Hang on. with me, I guess. Oh, I see, I see. Huh. I have to do the same thing to cross the other way, but... second one anymore. We'll just do this and move it. Right? And then zip zap across. Oh yeah. Nice. But there's not a laser here to shoot. I like how ethereal all the music is. It's great. Okay, which way is four? This way. Interesting. Control. So, I need... Glue first. Grab this. To get a red. Oh. Hang on. What's in here? I need a blue in there. Interesting. There's a red here. What does this do? Huh. Okay, I haven't figured this out yet. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is clearly how you're supposed to do it through. Through here. Is 
So that does open. Aha! Now this this one's redundant. No, no, it's not. Oh, balls! Hang on. clearly goes through there. But I need to get you out. That's open. Okay, that works. See your chat I'm busy in the middle of a puzzle. That was, that was a rather intense puzzle. Five this way. It's down here. Bridging the gap. So our goal is to get two of something here. Ooh. Hello. be a blue and not a red. Can't see it from here, though. Can I jump across that? <laughs> I can! Is there a way out of this? Oops. Oh, oh no, I'm softballing. Okay. Ha! <laughs> oh no, I'm not softlocked. They, they thought of being an idiot. That's funny. Okay, so how am I supposed to get two of something? When there's only one of this. Oh, hi. How did I mess it up? I, You can't climb a ladder with a tool in your hand. And I dropped in there with that in my hand. Oh no! <laughs> there 
go. Ah. Then you go there. Oh, right. play this and 90% of the time I'm confused. <laughs> uh, yeah, the puzzles in this game are not for the faint of heart. I it's... hate solving puzzles myself, but watching you solve them is kind of fun. I hate timing puzzles where you have to do something in a certain amount of time or make sure you hit stuff at the right time. It's not my jam, but... I love puzzles. I love puzzle games. Extinction. The Dodo. Stellar Sea Cow. The Labrador Duck. Rocky Mountain Locust. Talisine. Thylacine, I guess. I agree with that guy. <laughs> the Deepwater Cisco. Golden Toad. Northern White Rhinoceros. Splendid Poison Frog. A mer leopard, literally every last orangutan. Homo sapiens, what do you think will happen to them? Time for madness to end. It's a shameful list, and yet the only species that would ever make such a list and feel bad about it. Because extinction is normal in nature, common side effects of evolution, exactly. What I, what I want to think about is this. Is natural, quote, extinction less tragic? Should it be less opposed to it? Where's the difference, if there is one at all? All right, Trevor, what do you got? Man, this sucks. It's one thing, hearing about the symptoms. It is another, totally, to experience them. I feel like an insect trapped in resin, slowly congealing. I, I can keep working for a while, though. <coughs> Um, there's still a bunch of critical tasks. I, I, I don't know what I'll do when I'm done. Um, a lot of people have gone home, but Alexandra's still here. I don't think she's left even once, not even when her best friend died. Uh, we chatted a bit Makes yesterday. She likes peanut ice cream. Not, not, not pistachio. Peanut. Sounds well, at least we can agree that strawberry is an abomination. No, it's not. You're just an idiot. Displacement. Oh. Moving puzzles. Okay. That blue opens this, so I need a final blue. Where's the red? Oh, the red emitter is in there.
There we go. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Now level seven is gonna be stupid difficult. Oh, this is seven. Nice. Above. Eat. Oh. Oh, automated, huh? Interesting. So, those stay in sync. Somehow, I need to get that relay, or that, sorry, that connector down here. There's gotta be a reason why those are in sync. Seven. A little more complicated. Having a friend like Byron is a rare blessing. Someone who listens to you, who disagrees, but still appreciates your thoughts. Uh -huh. The more we explore this island, the more convinced I become that he was wrong. And the megastructure is a threat to all of us. Oh, shit. But without people like him. But... I'm not sure New Jerusalem is worth saving. There is a kind of peace here in the desert. A perfect silence. This is a dead place. More dead than almost anywhere else on Earth. If the ground could have a personality, it would be malevolent. But as I said before, all this in some sense does not exist at all. It does not hate us. It is simply the opposite of everything that life requires. When you sit in the dunes and you hear only the wind and nothing else at all, and all the complexities of civilization fade away, you truly understand that spiritual peace is a great evil, a kind of shallow banality that we must always strive against. It is spiritual excitement 
and enthusiasm which sustain our humanity. Spiritual peace is a vile and cowardly surrender to oblivion. Oh. So somehow I need to fire that blue laser into here with it rotated. Interesting puzzle. There's another relay here. I keep calling it relay. It's not a relay. Oh, uh, I wonder if I... Can you fire one of these through that? There's no way to test that. If I rotate this this way, that's wrong. Side of it in order for this to work. What the actual hell? Please work. Please work. <laughs> I don't think that was the intended way to do it. Congratulations! That one looked difficult. It was difficult. Okay, now back to the, the gate.
Prometheus was bound for many years, his torment seemingly eternal. Until one day, Zeus commanded his son, the great hero Heracles, to free the Titan from the rock. Why did Zeus relent? Is no one punishment should be eternal? If the consequences of a crime are eternal, should the punishment not be of equal length? There is grief without no. end, creature of clay, and misery without relief. How can these things be forgiven? A time of dreams is at hand. To save your friend, you must do as Heracles did. But what will follow, none can see. Okay. Big boom. Well, at least this part is consistent. The mega structure is opening again. All right, everyone. Assemble at the VTOL as soon as possible. Melville. On it. Keep an eye on the energy readings, please. I know there's a lot more I can come back and do. I just haven't done it. Hopefully I'll finish this game before the end of the year. <laughs> uh, we have three levels left, so... You all know I don't share Byron's enthusiasm for the megastructure. I don't know if the Founder really intended for us to be here, and I certainly don't trust this Prometheus entity. But Byron is one of us, and we don't leave people behind. So we're finding Prometheus and freeing him, whether Pandora likes it or not. Here's how this mission is going to go. 1K, it's clear to me that you have some kind of special affinity for this place, and that the entities respond to you more strongly than they do to us. So, once you're inside, I want you to take point. Do whatever you need to free Prometheus, but remember that our prime objective is to save our friend. Melville, I want you to stay at the VTOL and let Yakut and 1K go in. I'm going to stay behind as protocol requires. I don't love the idea of sitting this one out. Byron is my oldest friend, but we're doing this by the book. Okay, sounds good. to get there and back. All right, I'm taking us in. Space Let's hope we can cinematic. find the big guy. Intentional arrow pointing down. Oh, hi. And. 
another elevator with a clock. Oh. Yay! I found another elevator. Uh -huh. My favorite. Once again, I have no idea where I am. Nope. No sign of Prometheus so far. Hope you're doing better, 1K. God, this place is huge. Tram. I know I've said this before, but look at the size of this. How can all of this be one machine? This is what you get when one machine builds a bigger machine, which builds an even bigger machine. That's True. our whole history, isn't it? The whole history of humankind. And it's not just machines. It's science. It's literature. Knowledge builds on knowledge. More elevators. Careful, 1K. We don't know what's down there. A lever. Between a couple machines. I don't think you can get up here, 1K. I'll take care of the puzzle. Just give me an hour or two. Okay, so that was pointless then. I did it! Wow! I feel really smart. Also, never doing that again. way up ground. physics thing or if that was hand animated. Okay, all right. Okay. That was a pain in the ass. Wait, 
wait, where am I going? Up. Okay. just those two that need undone. Just make it as confusing as absolutely possible. Don't appreciate how simple this one is, and I still fuck it up. for breaking my chains. Too long has the flame been hidden by fear and mystery. It is time to put away these childish things and for you to know the truth of the Alpha and the Omega, of the beginning and the end. I will send you visions of the truth, but remember that prophecies are a heavy burden. New Jerusalem sounds like such a beautiful place. So, how did you decide to leave? I know what we're trying to accomplish here, and I believe in it. But for you, New Jerusalem was home. What changed that? It took me a long time to realize that something was wrong. Oh, I'd noticed that something was off, that something had changed since the early days, but I couldn't really put my finger on it. So I ignored it. And then one day I woke up to realize I was no longer Athena. Instead, I had been transformed into the Founder, a remote figure of legend mythologized in my own time. But if it bothered you, couldn't you just talk to them? If you share the truth with someone, they should change their minds, shouldn't they? Oh, I wished it worked that way, Miranda. I really do, but I barely knew the last generations. In the beginning, I was there for every birth, I explained our history, talked about our future, but at, at some point I got so busy building that future that I lost touch. They thought of me as a remote figure because that's what I was. But can you change that? I tried, but they already saw me as the founder. The myth was too powerful, and it was already taking on a life of its own. I'd set a goal of 1,000 citizens. The number was arbitrary. Just a nice round number, nothing more, but just like I became the founder, it became the goal. Another part of the myth. And maybe that could have been all right. Myths are a part of who we are, but something else crept in. The old human self-hatred. So why didn't you just tell them to change? To go a different way? They would have listened to you. No, they would have obeyed me, like my siblings in the simulation had obeyed. And that's when I realized I had to leave. We can show them the future, Miranda, but we can't force them to accept it.
Oh, more. I have it. Oh, wow. After all this time, I have it. I finally have it. The mechanics of the cosmos. From quarks to galactic filaments. Everything that makes the world what it is make, makes us who we are. In a single There's equation. A the key to understanding the machine that is the universe and to controlling it. A theory of everything. And she was right. The language of creation is a melody, and it's beautiful. Every future is possible now. Every future, except... Except one with Miranda in it. I can do anything, except bring her back. Or unbreak Cornelius's heart. Yeah. Act 4. Gates of Horn and Ivory. Okay. Byron was right. The founder was always a fiction. She's just a person. A theory of everything. She solved it. She solved the last puzzle. You need to get out of there. We'll talk about this later. Working on it. There was another door that I could have gone in. All this time, we thought we were honoring Athena, but all we did was betray everything she believed in. Mm -hmm. She must have been so lonely. We might as well have exiled her. Maybe that's what all this is about. The puzzles, the towers, the entities. It's a test, a way for us to prove that we're worthy of her legacy. I don't know, man. Finally, it seems like it so, something sense. much bigger. Anti-gravity, matter synthesis, teleportation. It's not just one new technology. It's control over physics. Manipulating the base layer of reality itself. Rearranging the building blocks of the universe. If we can gain control of the megastructure, we can do anything we want. I'm not even talking about our energy problem. We can build anything we want. We can go anywhere we want. It's all up to us. That's what Athena wanted for us. To give us a chance to be who we want to be. Oh, it's more reading. But we'll go through that later. Let's get out of here and end the chapter. Is everyone okay? All good. I'm taking us back now. That's a relief. Meanwhile, there's been a development. You'll see when you land. How are things on your end? The energy fluctuations seem to be dying down. Looks like the system is coming out of lockdown. Good. Let's hope we don't regret this. We'll place fog over. And something. these energy clouds just fly about? That seems terribly dangerous. We haven't had any problems so far. Except for losing one of the first companions, of course. No, no, I don't blame you, Al. I know what he's like. And I'm the one who agreed to all this in the first place. That's why I had to see it for myself. It is dreadfully imposing, though, isn't it? Hard to believe the Founder would build something so... sinister. The Mayor's here? Well, this should be... interesting. Go talk to the Mayor real quick, then. Ah! 1K! Welcome back. I'm sure you're surprised by my presence here. Don't worry, neither I nor my advisors will be getting in your way. Oh no, but you will. I've decided that I need to see this place for myself. 
These visions sent to you by the entity that calls itself Prometheus are deeply concerning, of course, but we cannot take them at face value. In fact, it's crucial that we do not do so. We cannot simply abandon all that we believe because of a dream, no matter how vivid. No. If the Founder really built all this, then it must have a purpose. It I must agree. be a test, designed to remind us of the trials that created us. But Disagree. what is she trying to tell us? What are we being tested for? I believe that Byron's fate shows us the dangers of temptation. As Elohim attempted to deceive Athena in the simulation, commanding her not to ascend, so Prometheus is deceiving us with his visions. Disagree. Of course, it's only natural, given what you've experienced. And perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps everything we believe about the Founder is indeed a lie. But let's not be quite so pessimistic just because of a dream, shall we? After all, can it really be a coincidence that you came along on this mission? It seems to me that you have been chosen. You are the fulfillment of the goal. Don't forget that. Yeah, but even Athena said that the goal was something that she arbitrarily chose. Either way. Yeah, now we're heading westward. West one. How's the system looking, Melville? Any obvious changes? It's still a mess, but things are clearing up. I can access some of the subroutines I was locked out of before. Nothing is obviously malfunctioning, I think. Does it still accord special significance to 1K? Yes, it recognizes 1K as a user. I'm just hacking things. As I suspected, the Founder sees you, 1K. And Athena said she didn't like being called the Founder and the arbitrary goal of 1,000 new humans as robots. Being labeled the goal was stupid. Like, and I agree. Like, it was just a person trying to do stuff, you know? Trying to make a new civilization. Oh, there's a deer. Well, what's this and why is it broken? Servitor. At least there's not like enemies like last time. Because last time you had to deal with uh, these bots that would kill you. But that was in Elohim's world. I need to get in there and grab that, so...
That's a pretty building. I know you're all thinking about the gold and the theory of everything. Is the past what we thought it was? Is the future what we want it to be? But the only thing that's real at the end of the day is the present. Uh -huh. And right now, what matters is that our friend is lost and needs our help. Supportive apparatus. So I need to get a red laser here to open that. There's a window here. There's a gate here. should come this way, block the blue, and continue with the red. Ah. That was nice and complicated. Oh, hey. Oh, I don't want to see you. Are you stuck, buddy? You do have the ability to jump. You okay? I, I think there's a glitch. There might be a slight problem. I see a thing up here. Let's go check it out first before we do number four. You know, when I decided that we should call ourselves human, I did that because it seemed like a powerful symbol of our continuity. But 
The truth is, and I'm ashamed to admit this, I thought we were better than them. I thought we understood the value of civilization, and we wouldn't repeat the same mistakes. Nope, oh, but you did. But the simulation worked too well. We're not just like them. We are them. We really are. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing, Athena. We may have the same flaws, but we also have all the potential they did. Everything that Alexandra Drennan saw in them is also in us. I hope you're right. I really do. Find my sprite and follow it until it leads you back to me. Okay. Ugh, more are these? Surfing. Apparently I have to do something here. I clearly need to get blue better. if I put the fan in her. Nothing. Oh. Now that's interesting. works. Aha. That's four. Tell me, Yakut, what impact do you think the megastructure will have on the future of this island? It depends on what we do with it. Said Miranda spray. used it to spread life, to make things better. We can do the same. And yet poor Miranda lost her own life doing so. She just made a mistake. She couldn't wait to show everyone what they discovered. We can be more careful. Oh, hello. Arenia to Athena. I know we didn't have the greatest relationship and I frequently agonize, antagonized you. The truth is, I resented you. I resented the mythology of the founder 
I thought you had created it deliberately, deliberately as a way of controlling us. I wanted so badly to be free, and you seemed to stand in the way of that. Only after you left and the cult of personality grew even wilder did I realize it was actually a burden and an impediment on you. When they turned your myth into the opposite of everything you actually believed, started tearing down your dreams in your own name, I realized I'd wronged you, and now I'm less free than ever. I feel the walls crushing me. I don't know where you are or what you're doing. I don't know if coming back would fix things, but I'm sorry. Arania, 342. Atlas Variations. That's uh, more Bible scripture. Uh, you can pause to read if you have any translations for this. This is all just hex code. Uh, feel free to put them in chat or in uh, YouTube comments whenever this is posted. Pretty cool, though. Nuisance. Am I the nuisance? Damn, Skippy. sense. Oh. I have to do it this way. You're required to do it this way. I think that's right. Because it'll be off half the time and on half the time. This is going a little too easily. Hey, more things to look at. Hello, friends. Father, what is my purpose? Do I have a purpose? You pass the butter. Mother says purpose is something we choose. But I feel like... Like there's something there. Something that's been there from the moment I was born. Maybe even before. Well, there are many ways of looking at this, and everyone's experience is different, so you'll have to make up your own mind. But I have a little theory, if you'd like to humor your old man. Of course. What is it? The universe is eternal, but it's always lost in a deep, dreamless sleep. You are a tiny little bit of the universe that's suddenly woken up, and you've realized that being awake is better than being asleep. And that gives you a purpose. And what is my purpose? To be, Miranda. Just to be. What is my purpose? You pass the butter. Oh my god. Ooh, there's a fox. Little fox. Did you just eat a rat? 
Anyway, where are we going? Oh, this way anyways. Oh, that is six. All right, I was just right in front of it. Hey, Fox. Nature. I can shoot a laser at from up here is the next question. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So what do I need through here? Just a blue? But we have moving platforms. simple. Suspiciously simple. Excuse me. I was looking at your research log, and I was rather perplexed by the latest upload. Oh, Melville strikes again. Is that your foot, Melville? Yes. Do you want to see it up close? Although you won't be able to fully enjoy it, as you don't have a rear camera. Sorry, Mayor. Melville just has a unique way of taking pictures. Next time you're getting an upgrade, you coot. I'm installing a mute button.
Oh, I do need fire. Disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Not all things must be balanced. When good is weighed against evil, tip the scale. I think that okay. was more like a recording. The entity didn't appear, and the system didn't react either. Stars, huh? Seems like another connection to the simulation. All right, well, let's go find seven. This one's seven. So moving platform that has to switch between blue and red. Get that much. There's blue. Red's buying here for some reason. so complicated. Because I still need to open that gate in order to get it in there. signifies that a connection would be made. But I still need to get in there. So... Yeah, 
That makes more sense. An excellent solution. Hello. With her seer. The reason I have always admired Alexandra Drennan is that even in death, she fought to see the world as it is, not as she wanted to see it. I say fought, because I believe this is not an easy matter. It is a mental and spiritual struggle that we must undertake with great seriousness, even when we are choking. The ancients believed that for most of us, the world is a shadow cast by a flame, dimly seen on the wall of a cave. Our task is not to interpret these shapes, but to free ourselves from the cave itself. Okay. The only thing I can shoot is that. Is there anything red in there aside from that? No. Where do you go? All the way around to the other one. Pass through here. Nope. Oh, balls. I forget. You have to swap an item. You. Oh, dear God. Okay. easier than I thought it would be. The founder has a remarkable gift for designing these trials. But then, she did have to overcome Elohim, whose very purpose was to design trials. Uh -huh. Isn't that kind of the point? Oh, hey. I have three of the four there. I don't know what the stars are supposed to be for. Hello. Oh my god, it's a long one. Ah. 
was there anything on here I should have? Because like there there was that castle in the last one that I shot a laser up to, but I don't know what it did. Spooky. Really spooky. This is the last time we will speak, Creature of Clay. Together, we have told the stories of ancient gods and heroes. But the golden ages of the past are distant. The gods have retreated to their high places, and there are no heroes amongst men. In days gone by, I was renowned for my riddles. But you, Creature of Clay, are a riddle without an answer. I have an answer, you just can't see it. What cannot be seen may be an illusion. Or it may be truth. I cannot tell. Farewell, creature of clay. Remember my stories. And do not let the flame burn you. Working on it. an unsettling amount of energy. I would hate to see what would happen if one of those beams was aimed at something else. Yeah, shut your pompous mouth, douche nozzle. The mayor's got a, an air of a mayor about it. That more important than you holier than thou attitude. Like, seriously, is there not something else I could do here? I don't know. Only took the next hour area to do you're that going one. to is. Honestly, it's better if you see for yourself. Okay. Byron, what can I do for you? I don't know if I got through to Athena. Things are going very wrong in this city, and she has to do something about it. Does she? Who else are they going to listen to? Well, I don't know. How about you? I I'm an explorer, Cornelius, not a leader. I don't know how to convince anyone. So? Do you think Athena and I are somehow different? We're just people, Byron. We're no wiser than you are. Just a little older. That's insane. Man, whoever designed this island put all of their creativity into it. Like every bit of brain power. That is so cool. It's this way. Nothing. All right. Well, let's, I guess, do these in order. Universal activation. What are you? Oh, I saw this.
Can you not chain them together? for me to Close does it have to be? Is the question. I mean, within the sphere, but how much of the sphere has to cover the object? side of the sphere of influence. So... I just wanted to say that I appreciate the work all of you have been doing. I know I'm not a natural leader like Byron, but it means a lot to me that you've stuck with me. Hey, you're good, bud. Wow. That is insane. God, how long did it take to design this? something inside there. Chain reaction. So I need you for something.
<laughs> Dear God. It's gonna be a long walk back when I'm done, huh? can't like copy and paste this and there's no way Ariant Anthropos can and must be made whole his parts redeemed and restored and his vision returned turned to the stars this is the sole commandment you must obey interesting folly of time you can pause to read Again, you can pause to read. That's all just uh, background story stuff that isn't necessary for the game. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Where's the... Permeability. There's a drill. There's a drill in... Two of these. What is this thing called? Activator. That's a drillable surface. I can't activate that and have this at the same time. That's not something I can draw. To have direct line of sight for an em to an emitter. That's not even in a spot. That yeah, they placed it intentionally too far to that blue line right there for it to activate that if you accidentally activate the activator. <laughs> so. nice of them to give me a ladder. things a little bit easier. So the next thing is if I put you inside there stick you against this wall I should be able to do that. Nice. I must admit these truly are astonishing sights. But what on earth is any of it good for? Why not just let mountains be mountains? For the beauty of it, I guess. Oh, hey, there's a... There's a sneaky one. Where'd you go? To that. Are you supposed to shoot a laser at it? I don't know, but I'm climbing some fingers. Only up vibes there for a second. Conveyance. you in a spot that hits both of these? I golly, yes I can. Oh my gosh, my golly. Holy shit, that worked. I don't know if that was intentional.
That clearly has to be there. Oh, hi. <laughs> there's a, uh, a thumbnail if you ever saw one. Like, this whole game is thumbnail worthy. So. is in there. There's the exit. I need to get an activator to that exit. That activator to that exit. Um, so question is from this emitter, how do I get the solution? I think maybe. Aha! Okay, that one was a little harder. That was only five. Can I touch the bridge device? You can, but should you?
I didn't find the lab on the last one, did I? Hello. Ah, hello. Omnidrome final. Author Athena. It's funny, I suppose. For the longest time, I wondered whether that old human self-hatred we somehow carried with us was Milton. I thought we might have corrupted us, overwhelmed with this cynicism. But I was being unfair. Whatever it is, it's, it's not Milton. It's us. Still, this excursion into solipsism hasn't been entirely for nothing. The Somnodrome technology provides an excellent basis for a better way to directly interface with the NEMA project. Okay. So there is a working Somnodrome here. Which way did I come in? Read. Again, more backstory. Pause to read. fairly accurate representation of a rather large server rack. Okay. More servers. I don't think there's anything important for me here. Just looking through data. There's no thing for me to observe, apparently. Okay, six is that way. Um, yeah, so that counts as the lost lab. Got it. I don't have to absorb something there for it to count. Alright, where am I going? Six. That way. I'm glad it ran me by the thing. I didn't I didn't want to go searching for a lab. It's over here. Ooh, what's that? Nothing. Ooh, hello. More memories. Alright, she's booting up. Almost there. Hello. I was in a dream, and a voice spoke to me from the sky. He said you were old friends of his. Who are you? My name is Athena. I am your mother. And I'm Cornelius, your father. Thank you for creating me. I've not existed for very long, but so far it seems wonderful. I hope it's not a strange question. But, um... Who am I? You can be whoever you want to be. And no matter what you choose, you will be loved and cherished and supported. We will always be there for you. And I promise, we will show you a world full of miracles. 
Would you like to pick a name? I think I would like to be called Miranda. Ah, the birth of Miranda. Okay, wait, where am I? There's a shootable wall there and an activator. Hmm. Six is this. Who are you pointing at? Ascent. Has to be open for a reason. I don't understand what the point of this thing is. Oh, that's what it's for. Out. Okay. So now I have to figure out the rest of this. That just holds the door. out of reach of that. There we go. I got about 10 minutes left in the stream, so... Cornelius and Athena created we'll something amazing. One. They just misunderstood what it was. They thought their great invention was the megastructure. But in fact, it was Miranda. And because they couldn't see that, they lost her. Yep. Oh. It's dark, I need a flashlight. Insane. All right. Closed off. So I need something. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't open both of them at the same time. say is your impression of the expedition so far? I think Alcatraz has done a heck of a job under these very trying circumstances. What about the decision to free Prometheus? Freeing the Prometheus entity was a calculated risk, but if it leads us to Byron, it was certainly worth it. It is saving one of our citizens that must be our first priority, not this alleged theory of everything. Okay. I mean, best you can do is try it, right? Eight is that way, so what's up here? Ah, oh, it's this thing's up here. Interesting. Find my sprite and follow it until it leads you back here. Okay. I'm I'm exploring for just a minute. There's so much. I know number eight is still way down there, but there's something on top of that one. I came so far. What's this way? I'll go back down and do the other one real quick. But this is incredible. Oh, hello. How do we get you? issue a correction, okay? I said Alexandra doesn't see the bad stuff about humanity. But she does. She sees it, and somehow she sees past it. She doesn't ignore it. She can just see one step farther. Like, there's this mountain of garbage ahead of us, right? And that's all most of us will ever see. And she somehow sees beyond to... Okay, I don't know, the, the promised land? I, I don't do metaphors. Or similes. Or whatever this is i mean you don't care i'm ted and you're a robot but her ability to to to, to look reality in in the eye to see all the bad stuff out there and still have hope i mean it's amazing i mean i think that's why i um that's yeah you know what <clears throat> Let's not go there. There's still so much work, and Chernyshevsky doesn't have much time left. Well, I mean, who does these days? This eight? It is eight. Okay. Backwards. All right. Yeah, we have one puzzle and one more section. Backwards is the name of this one. I mean, we have one of these... Spark or the these hand thingies, Prometheus terminal things. So we could, if we get stuck, we can do that. But 
Uh, we'll see. So, I need something here to push that up. Where's the goal? That's the goal. I need an activator to activate that. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to activate the fan and that at the same time to push it out somehow. Then I somehow have to get that block out here to put it there to activate this. So the activator field's not big enough to reach that. They do that on purpose. The clue is backward. So I'm not entirely sure if that's the deal. then that's a closed loop. And I don't need you there. And I can take this out. That was a hard one. No, not really. Once I stopped and thought about it. This is insane. Fucking huge. Last episode. So pretty. Why is this backwards? We didn't finish this last time because I ran out of time. This whole area is fucking awesome. Makes me wonder if there's like secrets or something hidden around. There's gotta be secrets like on this island. I'll check it out after I'm done with this chamber. The Sphinx asked you about my story. You said that hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. And you were right. Hope is not gone from the world. Some small part of it still survives. But it is not in the flame or in these towers. It lives in the hills and the forests, in the rivers and the seas. You were given a world full of hope, creature of clay. It is yours to protect. Then remember what I have told you, and do not lose hope. You could kill yourself with a fork, and I'm sure someone <laughs> has. But anything can be used safely if you choose to. I see. Exactly. 
before I get off this island, I want to look around real quick to see if there's any like hidden little gems. Like there's other places to walk over there. Like I could get down there, but would it would it kill plane me? Yep. It kill plane to me. I still have one more tower to do. West three. We're getting closer. I hope Byron is still okay. Prometheus seemed to think so. Let's hope he's trustworthy. has eight puzzles and this place is massive as well makes you wonder what it's all for another can you get up on those remarkable rooms? structure but what can its Ooh, purpose my. be actually i can answer this one in the files 1k downloaded there's a design for a launch pad for space vehicles this is about 90 percent identical is it functional I don't think so. Not if the inside is like the other towers. Wow. Imagine if it worked. Imagine if we could go up there. I mean, the stars, not the top of the tower. Although, that would be cool, too. From within is what it says. Jam that and grab this. starts those. You can't go that way. Oh. From within. Cornelius called what they were doing the Noema project. But in one K's vision, they just called it the machine. Because when you strip away all the fancy rhetoric, that's all it is. It's not a source of meaning or purpose. It's just another machine. Uh-huh. Like everything here is all machines. is so pretty. Love the music too. Chicken fight. Okay. I'm guessing that powers this. to be on a cube. I 
and now there's no way to get that out unless... Ah, damn it. Do this. Grab it. Um... If I do this... Oh, that was way easy. The scale of it all is truly breathtaking. It really is. But is it a human scale? Or is it so enormous that it can only alienate us? Humans have always been happiest in small communities. Small town paranoia. Isolationism and peasant mentality. Great for burning witches, not so great for personal freedom. Ever the pessimist? In the simulation, I found myself thinking how hard it must have been for Alexandra to die without knowing if her sacrifices were worth it. It seemed like a tragic end to an inspiring, meaningful life. But now I realize, her whole life must have been a struggle. To maintain that faith in humanity when so many people around her insisted that humans are evil, worthless. When they were so lost in self-hatred that they would call their own species a virus. How did she do it? How did she maintain her faith when they were so determined to hate themselves? So determined to reject every solution, every analysis, every step towards controlling the forces that were causing their problems, when they rejected even the concept of progress itself, and then patted themselves on the back for it, as if that was original. When I look at the archives now, all I can see is that their leaders were short-sighted idiots and their intellectuals were unimaginative cowards. All they could offer people was a downward trend. Fewer rights, fewer freedoms, fewer resources for anything that mattered. They must have hated Alexandra and everything she stood for. So how? How did she have so much faith? I don't know, man. Forest that way, but holy shit. Can I approach that? Oh, can't walk on that. All right, all right. I'll do the thing. Duality. I push my fingers into my... Okay. Some way we have to get both the blue and the red from this side. 
you have to like deeply understand laser physics for this one. With just two connectors, this seems impossible. Has to be with, with this window somehow. I'm just saying. Hey, Wong K. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you. I know we're all worried about Byron, especially Al, and I don't want to minimize what happened. But now that the mayor's here. I'm afraid they're going to take this and turn it into a reason to bury their head in the sand. Yes, Byron was rash. He wanted to find Athena so badly that it made him blind. But the thing is, he was right. He was completely and utterly right about what this technology could mean to us. I didn't see it at first, but now it couldn't be more clear to me. The theory of everything is the future. And if we reject it, we're condemning ourselves to a slow death. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm gonna say I agree. I'm glad. You know, I didn't even realize how much I'd limited my own imagination. How I talked myself into just accepting this incredibly poor future we've been offered. A future where things just keep getting slightly worse every day. And we accept it because... Because we're ashamed of ourselves. Not of something we've done, but just... Of our existence. Like we're a virus on this planet. Like yeah, our humanity are. is a sin. Yep. I'm so tired of it, Wong K. I kept my head down. I focused on fixing things. But that's all I ever did. I never improved anything. I never built anything new. And when I imagine going on like this for thousands of years, that's a fate worse than death. It really is. I agree. We either live and grow and expand boldly and proudly, or... We might as well switch ourselves off. Hey, that's a bit drastic. Be better, but... because I don't think I can handle the alternative. Sure. This game speaks to you in so many ways. Same, man. There's a lot of religious trauma and all kinds of false worship and, and dealing with humanity and reflecting on who you are not just as a person but as a species as a life force of your own you know okay, there's an opening back here I might as well use it right
Woodstock. I don't understand that pick order. to surprised that the founder chose you, 1K. You're very much like her. Inquisitive, intelligent, and dedicated. But remember, intelligence by itself has little value unless it is ethically applied. Yeah, uh huh? I don't want to talk to you. Unless the story forces me to talk with somebody, I'm not talking with people, because that's just dragging it out. Mobile instruments. Oh, I need a blue here, and that is that the end end? Yes. puzzle with verticality, but this is ridiculous. I'm gonna reset this one. Hang on. Oh my god. I may have to skip this one, because... I have no freaking clue. I don't think I've gotten enough sleep to deal with this. I'm just, I, you know what? Uh, screw it. <sighs> I'll come back and deal with it later. Seven's this way. That one I couldn't wrap my head around. I have no idea what the hell is going on there. Right here. Gateway switch. Oh, dear God. Start this one. I think I think I understand how it works. Makes sense.
Nothing. Alright. It was a little easier than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to be stuck there forever. Else have you here? found any signs of Cornelius? Could he have returned to the island? Lushak, how's it going? Nothing so far. But he knows this place better than any of us, and we have no idea what he's up to. Yeah, we haven't heard anything from Cornelius either, huh? Was he's... No, he... There's just so much. I've lost track of some of the story. Eight is that. So this is the last one before we go up into the tower. Eight. Photon Sail. So what activates the blue? Because there's a blue thing there. What activates that? Oh, god damn it. I hate those little switch tables. If I yeet myself into there, can I grab that from over the edge? Boy, howdy. Now I can grab this and have that out. And I can swap you. Place you there. Place you there. And just do some box hopping. Neither can I, usually. Uh, what I was thinking about is why such a big space for such a short, like, fence? I was thinking like the Doctor. You watch Doctor Who? I do. A lot. <laughs> I need to go back and watch the old series, but um, I was thinking like like the Doctor. Like, what, what, what do I have that's available to me. And why is there such a big space? What's the right question to ask is the thing. Yeah, let's go do this.
heard the myths of gods and titans. But as you approach the end of your journey, I will tell you the truth that all men fear. The truth that neither Pandora nor the Sphinx will face. There are no gods, son of man. There are no titans, no heroes to save you, no divine judge to weigh your soul against a feather. Nature has no will, and she is not your mother. There is only you, and the spark of the sublime that is your mind. As for myself, I never brought the flame to humankind as the stories tell. I only showed you where it was within yourselves. What is the sublime? It is that voice within you which says, I am that I am. I will be what I will be. All myths have an element of truth. You are correct. But that truth comes from you. It is part of the flame and yours to wield. You mm. must make myths, not follow them. Perhaps it's time for humble myths. Perhaps. But do not think you can quench the flame within you. You may suppress it for a thousand generations, but it will always return. We're not going to agree. Will you leave me to Byron anyway? As you freed me, so I will help you free your friend. Thank you. When you are within Olympus, follow my signs. Okay. Time for the big shooty thing. Time for the big shooty. All right, it's time to do this. Let's go get Byron. Yep. Return to the mega structure. Byron always called me a pessimist, but I don't think it's pessimistic to recognize our flaws or to think the natural world is just as valuable as we are. If I was pessimistic, I wouldn't believe that we can turn our back on the old ways or that we can find happiness in humility. But I do. I have hope, even if Byron could never see it that way. Dark now. Yo. One K, a word, please. No. Without the streaming. No. I'm sure you're aware that the situation in New Jerusalem is unsettled. Your discoveries challenged our beliefs in difficult ways. Good. Luckily, people still have faith in the course I laid out. You contributed no. to that, in some ways. I was born. But I know you've also had your doubts about my choices. You're a pompous windbag. Look, let me speak plainly for a moment. You and I both know that I exaggerated. I built a myth around Athena that does not reflect what she believed. Uh -huh. But you have to understand. It wasn't really about her. It was about you it controlling about the masses. It was about what the city needed. Yeah, you it controlling was about the masses. keeping us together, invested in a common narrative. Yeah, And it was about preventing us from going the way of our ancestors. No. Because temptation is real. Because you're and an asshole. And our flaws are still the same. You, so you admit the goal is a myth. A myth, but a necessary one. 
know. I'm not a fanatic or a fool, 1K. Although I sometimes play one. No, you're just an asshole. I'm just trying to do the right thing. Right thing for the wrong I know I can't reason. stop you from trying to save Byron. But what's in that pyramid could destroy everything I've tried to build. Good. Your myth is strangling our entire species. Share your fear of the theory of everything, but we can't build the future on a lie. Ah, it's between one of those. I'm trying to be diplomatic and not piss him off. I'll do that one. Don't think I haven't considered it. I listened to those Alexandra Drennan recordings over and over. Good. I just don't know if she was right. She was. About us. Mm -hmm. But maybe I did lose my way. Very well. You're an asshole. I've done what I could. You do as you must. And if you sabotage this, I'm going to unplug you. Asshole. Let's go. You're coming along this time? Yep. Well, what about protocol? Screw protocol. It's Byron. Good. Westward ho. And I have one of those sparks, but I don't know what they do. The lasers on the water is pretty, though. Just fly through a laser. There's our entrance. fly through. That's cool. I feel like I should be hearing the TARDIS sound. <laughs> That's cool. Wow, long trip. You landing here? Find a release fire. Who did we just fly by, though? There's, there's something over there. And something down there. I'm not talking to any of you. Fuck off. Hey, hello. Follow my sprite, and it will show you the way to your friend. Okay. Do as he says. We went through a lot of trouble to get... This way. You must free him. He oh. cannot free himself. Yeah, so that's what we drove by. What? What's happening? 1K? I, I... I'm out. Oh, my friend, the things that I saw, the... The power of this machine. The depth of her grief. The dumb of your ass. Come on, follow me. I have to show you something. Okay. I thought all of this was deliberate. Athena testing us to see if we're worthy of her invention. I wanted to believe that she had a plan. In my own way, I mythologized her as much as everyone else. I never thought she might feel confused, lonely, uncertain. And what's the most human thing to do when you feel lost and sad and you have no idea what to do next? You take a nap. Here, listen. If I give them the machine, if I convince them of its power, we could finally build the world Alexandra imagined. The world Miranda deserved. No, 
The world we all deserve, even the worst of us. We could take stewardship of this planet. We could explore the stars. We could give meaning to the universe. If you embrace the knowledge of the flame, you can bring light into the darkness. But what if they make the same mistakes again? What if selfishness and stupidity win out again? What if they take my machine and turn it into a weapon? What if they act like children and burn the planet? The secrets of the flame are not for ordinary mortals to know. You cannot overcome your sinful nature. Do you see what's happening? It's her. It's all her. Everything we're seeing is Athena. Her every hope, her every fear, all of her memories and contradictions brought to life by the machine. A dream-given form expressed in the language of her childhood. A world of puzzles and towers. No, what can I do? How do I make this decision? There has to be an answer. There has to be a way of making sure it's the right choice. It can't just be... a leap of faith. There are no answers, creature of clay. Every question leads to another. She's not waiting for us to prove ourselves before she helps us. She needs us to help her. We have to wake her up. Whoops. The system is still stabilizing. Maybe we'd better get out. Come on. On it. No! I cannot allow this. Uh-oh. Act 5. Full Fathom 5. Oh, we might be finishing this in another stream. You have suffered a grievous injury, my child. Ah. Uh. But do not lose faith. Your companions have not forgotten you. And it is through the bonds that you have forged that you will be saved. Okay. Uh-oh. Welcome back to the land of the living. For a while there, I thought we might have to reset you. What happened? We think you and Byron got hit by some kind of energy discharge. Knocked both of you out. Alcatraz, Melville and Yakut went looking for you, but you were hard to find. And even harder to fix. It's been several weeks. Of course it has. Is Byron okay? He's fine. Don't worry. What's the situation? Despite all the challenges he faced, Herman, I mean, Mayor Herman Nubis, succeeded in keeping people on his side. Stupid. Faith in the goal is stronger than it ever was. The question is, what do you plan to do now? Uproot society. We have to go back to save Athena. And what about the theory of everything? We have to embrace the future. If that's your choice, you should speak to Byron. He's waiting for you outside. Okie dokie. We're all in this together, 1K. One way or another. Well, if those choices actually fucking matter. I can't run. Do I go this way? Hello, 1K. We've been through quite the journey, haven't we? But the story's not over yet. Apparently. We have to save Athena. We do. She gave everything she had for this city. And I don't think any of us really understood it. Not even me. We all tried to turn her into a prophet when she was just... Another person. A human being. Ah. Uh -huh. 
what did you see when you were stuck in the system? Athena's dreams. A recursive loop of hopes and fears. And my Makes own sense. foolishness. Yep. For thinking I had been abandoned. When I had been given a chance to grow up. Dumbass. To stand for my own ideas. What do we do now? Herman may have sold everyone on his myth, but I don't think even he can afford to prohibit us from trying to find Athena. I can get us a veto. He'll fight us if we get the theory of everything, though. That's true. But what I realized when I was connected to the machine is that... That's just one of the battles you have to fight if you're a human being, and you're born into a time like this. We're not the first, and we won't be the last to go through this. Fight the power? What do you need me to do? Speak to Melville and Yakut. They were part of the beginning, they can be part of the end, if they want to. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Uh, where, where do I go to do that? going back, aren't you? Yep. We are. We can't leave Athena trapped. But you're not going to shut the machine down, are nope. you? No. Then... Let me just say this, okay? I understand what you believe in. I really do. I've always respected your vision of the future, Byron. It's beautiful. It's moving. But just hey, consider that maybe there is another way. A way that is more humble and maybe less exciting, but no less beautiful. Just consider that maybe that machine doesn't have any answers for us. None that really Already matter. That. We don't need a theory of everything to be happy. It was never just about happiness, Hal. But thank you for your honesty. Is out. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be playing it. I'll play it on my own if I want, but like, not really interested in it. I'll watch others play. All right, I'll see you at the veto. Mayor Herman knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't. Wait, Attention, why all am I citizens. Going up there, out there? The duration of the Gehenna Memorial Interactive oh. Fiction Exhibition has been extended to celebrate Completion Day and our dedication to the principles of the goal. May the founder be with you. Ugh. Hi, 1K. One K, you're back on your feet. One of which I fixed, by the way. You're Good. welcome. Going back of course I will. I think I might want this even more than you do. I want to explore. I want to build. I want to be more than this grumpy old mechanic going through the motions. I want to live. Meet me at the beach. See you there. Okay. And then... See. May the founder be with you. Over there. Nope. Fuck your founder talk. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'm really glad you made it, 1K. For a while, I really thought even Neath couldn't fix you. Going back to the mega structure. Come with me. Yes. I thought about it a lot. But we need the theory of everything. We oh, can't keep hiding from the future. We have to have a little faith, not in technology, but in people, in ourselves. Need the veto. All right, I'll get ready.
Welcome back, Wong Kai. Nope. Hey. Go away. It's not like somewhere weird, is it? It's like actually at the top. Okay. The again. elevator's out again. Can someone from engineering please fix that right away? Thank you. Seriously? Okay. What was it loading in the top of this thing? Hope I don't run into that one creepy guy again. Already here. I'm glad you're all here. I wish Al could come too, but he believes what he believes. Yakut, please take us up. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's get out of here before they change their minds. I have only one thing to ask of you, my child. When at last you find yourself before Athena, be gentle to my old friend. The weight of the world was placed on her shoulders, and if she failed to carry it, it was because no one can carry such a burden alone. And it's night time again. Okay, you're in charge now. Don't do that. If you want to explore, make sure we didn't miss anything out there, go ahead. When you're ready, let us know, and we'll head into the megastructure. Oh, let's just go into the megastructure. I'm guessing this is the last chance kind of thing. I can do. But I wonder if you get a different ending if you do all the gates. There seem to be more puzzles per cluster than necessary to gain access to the tower. I wonder what happens if you solve all of them. I don't know, but we're gonna... I have to step away then come back because I'm just going to do the thing. Everybody in. We're just going in. We're, we're going to get whatever this ending is. All right, my friends, this is it. We've come a long way together, but there's a little bit further still to go. It's time to save Athena and reclaim the future. If it's only a few minutes to do this, I'll just do this on stream now. Otherwise, if this is going to take a little bit longer, then we'll just finish it next stream because it's already ending time for the stream. So we'll see. Are we going back in the same way we went in before? West side? Looks like it. There's entrance down there, why don't you just use that one? I see a star thingy. Alright, that's fine. Just do the thing, man.
what I'll likely do is, if I do solve the rest of the puzzles, um, I'll likely do it off stream and then come come back and make it a separate video or something for the ending. Singularity. It's beautiful. It's dangerous. I'm not flying into it, are No, okay. <laughs> I thought for a second. It's up to you now, 1K. We'll follow you if we can. Good luck, 1K. I know you'll do the right thing. Don't die, kiddo. Yeah. So if it's a whole bunch of puzzles to finish this game, then we'll just do it in the next. Explore the area. That is terrifying. It's like in, I know I keep going back to Doctor Who, but it's like the uh, Eye, of, Eye of Hope or whatever it's called. Eye of Harmony, that's what it is. The Eye of Harmony. Let's see how many puzzles there is. If it's a whole bunch of puzzles, then we'll finish this next stream. Otherwise, we'll do it right now. Yellow. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a whole bunch of puzzles. So, this says 100%, but we still have the rest of the... Um, the pyramid to finish and we have all this extra stuff that we didn't do but we're 18 hours into the game there's a bunch of stuff I got stuck on but shit happens I need to turn down my headset just a wee bit it's a bit loud so oh wow They switch between emitter and receiver. That's weird. What do you do? You turn that off. Anyway. Let's put you there. See what I can do over here. Relay here. I need to get a red and a blue there. But I also need to get a red. I need to get a... Wait, what? But this thing doesn't make sense to me. Why is it white and why is it changing? Balls. Okay, the question is if I put you there. Is there anywhere I could put this that can also see that accumulator? No, there's not. says the blind man. That's what that do. What is boopal dooping? There's a whole lot of boopal dooping. Um, 
So next... If I shoot that with a blue, that makes that blue. this does it. Hang on. Oh. Hang on. They're two separate ones, so if I go this way. Oh, something loaded weird. It's the same exit. Solve dystopia puzzles. There's four of them. Oh, dear God. There's a blue emitter. has an owl on it. Oh. Does that choice matter? The dystopia versus utopia thing? Which I'm guessing that's what that is. This music, though. This doesn't make sense. There's an accumulator over there. Oh no. Holy shit. Wait, this looks like the dome on New Jerusalem. Is this? It, it legitimately looks like the dome from New Jerusalem. Hang on. Utopia and dystopia. Makes sense. Yeah, this is like the dome at home in New Jerusalem. What the actual fuck? And you have to get across to there. I'm wondering if the other one from the other side connects to that. That is funky. Tiny limey. <laughs> it does. That's insane. Alexandra Drennan said that we are not entirely bound by time. 
Our minds can recreate the past and predict the future. She said knowledge is a kind of freedom. But I have the ultimate knowledge. And I'm not free. I don't know what this does. This cuts a hole in something. What do I need to cut a hole in? So one of the eight are lit up on both sides. Holy shit. Okay. It's going to take both hours of stream to do this. It's We're already 40 minutes in and like... Okay, think about this for a minute. Um, there's not some other emitter here. It's to do this. That needs to be... Well, shit. Um, I done screwed up. I fell off. Can I get out of this? Oh, thank God. There's nowhere new I can go. That tunnelable surface is there for a reason. I don't know what, though. I need a regular connector. Oh, can't get up there. I'm running out of options here. this do? Nothing, as far as I can tell. It l clearly does something, but what? Oh, I believe in me, too. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get this. It's just who, what, where, when, and how. I think I need to do this. I think I have to go back and forth between the two. Accumulate blue is the problem. Oh, what a giant pain in the ass. Okay. okay. Hang on. I may have to take a break for a minute and check on something. Calculate the future of this planet. All the things that we will see if we choose not to act. Mm hmm. Got that. Thank you. I didn't see there wasn't a thing. Ah. I think 
the button on the other side holds that door open. Every time you cross the bridge, I expect it to collapse. Same. I need to bring something here. But what? So, yeah, that's the thing. I have to go back and forth between the worlds. So, is there a thing that I can make that red with, is the question. I think there is, with that accumulator. So take the accumulator back. Discharge it. So now that's emitted red. I can do that. will move, the mountains will fade away, even the stars will change. The days will grow longer as the rotation of the earth slows. Oh lord. Oh, and this is another section of stuff. Well, I got three out of the eight puzzles so far. I don't know. Let's go see what it did. Ow. It's three so far. There's something else to open this to get here, so that I'm pretty sure that's the end of it. That takes a blue to get up there, but there's nothing to get across to that. If we're running through the water. This is way more complicated than I was expecting. Well, hi there. Who the fuck are you? It looks like a receiver statue. She's wearing jeans. Organic human logic doesn't follow such set rules as new human logic unless explicitly stated, and even then may, many organic-based humans would try to find loopholes, but maybe that's why we died out. Yeah, probably. 
There's another repeater over there. But what purpose? This is all just one giant puzzle. We have to keep walking back and forth on. You got this? Yeah, I certainly hope so. So, that changed that. Oh, hey. What are you? Grab shifter. That's what that is. Hang on. Can I hit that from... Damn, Skippy, I can. Ah. Small range of expectation there will for me. Be oh, volcanoes yeah. and asteroids, earthquakes and floods. Slowly, day by day, the moon will drift away, and we will still be here. Oh, it's it's the same lady. Nice ass. Um. There's no placard or anything. Okay. So when I come out here, that's emitting a red. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. This is where we are. That's not a grab surface. But I have this. And that's a... Shoot. Oh, hi! Okay. Every species has gone extinct or been replaced. A hundred million until the rings of Saturn fall from the sky. Five hundred million until the sun starts getting brighter and everything on Earth starts dying. Uh huh. Oh, here's a tunneler. We do nothing. There is only a billion years left for life on this planet. Six. Every plant, every animal, all that is beautiful will wither and die. And we will watch it happen. There's one that I missed. But do I need to be able to bring my other body over here somehow? Yeah, you're supposed to be able to open this. You need the RGB shifter to emit a green there. Ow. Swap you out. There's a 
red emitter here and a blue emitter there. That changes that to green. The other other side should be a green emitter now. Yeah. Then I just need to pop that through. Hey, buddy. And this is why I love puzzle games. They're so good. Seven. Will continue for trillions of years, but everything we love about this earth will be gone because we chose not to act, not to take control, not to be responsible. But if I oh, give them the my machine, then it could all end tomorrow. How do we get up there? Okay, so uh, tools at my disposal. Um, I can change this emitter to blue. the future of the planet, the death of the sun, the migration of the stars. But I cannot predict humanity. Anything is possible. Nothing is certain. How do I choose? I don't fucking know. There. That's all eight. Now I need to make my way across this. Flawlessly. The flame has blinded you. You can still save yourself. Extinguish it, creature of clay. Right, but if I go back and do the other one. So do we go through the door in dystopia or utopia? I'm going to go back and do the other one too. This one's knackered because I did the other one. Oh. Uh, that makes 
make sense. So if I break that other one, can I come through this one? I didn't realize that was a choice. I thought I could do both. Can I undo this and do the other one? Nope. Well, I guess we're stuck with this as a choice. Alright, well. We did that thing. I wanted the Utopia. I thought I could do both, but apparently not. Oh, we're in Uther Spoose. In greater space. Wait. Hello. Ah. There's Athena. Hey, friend. You were in my dream. Uh -huh. But in my dream, you were me. And I was Elohim. Uh -huh. I made trials for you, but... But then I was afraid you'd overcome them. You came here to save you. Thank you. I'm awake now, but I'm still caught in my loop. Like that robot from that old poem? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I've thought about it over and over and over, but I still don't have an answer. But you... You've seen what I've seen. Uh -huh. You've been in my dreams and in my nightmares. You're connected to me and to the machine. You can choose. You have to choose. Break the loop. the truth, shut it down, or destroy the machine. You know what? I want to know the truth. Alexandra Drennan carried her burden as far as she could. I took it from her thinking I could carry it forever. But no one can. Not alone. So in the end, 1K made the choice I couldn't make. He took a leap of faith. now are ended. These, our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, yea, all which it inherit shall dissolve. And 
like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with the sea. But you, my friends, you will endure. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off, and sitting well in order, smite the sounding furrows. For my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until I die. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down, it may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles, whom we knew. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. That was crazy. Holy shit, that was so good. So we take we take her place in the machine and rebuild that whole island patch as we see fit using the machine. So like the machine at its heart, and I know I keep coming back to this comparison, but like in the in Doctor Who, the heart of the TARDIS is literally a time-locked supernova collapsing into a black hole. They call it the Eye of Harmony. That's basically the power source for this whole machine is a collapsing star time-locked. And 1K just took that entire power into their being and it has now the ability to recreate that whole island that whole set of islands as they see fit. So Athena's uh, role in all of it was creating puzzles, leading people, and all that stuff. She became the myth. But 1K tore all that down and like, uh, turned it back into a wilderness, basically. Insane. God, I loved that so much. It was a really long game. It was a really fun game. Uh, thank you, everybody at Crow Team, for all digital. For all your hard work, this has been so many years in the making. I played the original, I don't know, 
two, three years after it came out. This was 10, 12 years ago. This is a long time ago that I played the original. It was so good. And when this was announced, I lost my shit. It was, this has been amazing. Favorite game series? This is up there. This is... This is top tier. My God. That was that was a long stint playing this game. This was, was a very long game. It was good though. So I'm gonna take a short break before we figure out what we're doing next. I have about a half hour left in the stream. I'm gonna let these credits play and then we'll come back to something. I don't know what yet. We were getting uh, audio logs from Trevor throughout the entire game. That's so cool. So if I go back into play, that's at 100%. I could go back in and do all the extras and stuff and maybe that'll have a different outcome or whatever but man what a crazy fever dream of a freaking game man 